Hello, hello. How's it going? I realize I still have a steering wheel right here. Let me uh, move the steering wheel over on the desk. Give me just one sec. So weird, I moved my GoXLR a little bit and it reset itself. Are we still good? I think we're good. Okay. Also weird how it reset everything, all my sliders and everything. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Good, and... Let's go back here, here, here. And this game is called The Long Dark. But in your library, it actually starts at the L's instead of the T's. Let's hit play and let's launch it up, huh? How's everybody doing today? You know, all right, Strange Decoy, good to see you. Cal, welcome back. Mod Driver, good to see you. We can hear everything. Okay, good. There's got to be like a loose connection or something in the back of my uh, mixer. Then, game capture is going to be long dark. We just finished a good stream of SnowRunner over on Twitch. If you guys haven't followed the live streams over on Twitch, be streaming a lot more live on Twitch and most of the videos are going to be here to kind of summarize our experiences in our games over on Twitch too. So if you haven't followed over on Twitch, please feel free to do so. Same, the same first part of our gamer tag right there, twitch.tv forward slash Anzavino or Anzavino, however you want to pronounce it. Let's go back to survival. This steering wheel is still plugged in, by the way. I realized when I put my foot on the brake, I'm like, oh, that just did something on the other monitor. All right, we're playing SnowRunner. It's an off-road trucking sim. And I had my steering wheel and, and uh, pedals plugged in too for that one, so. Let me just see. Let's resume, shall we resume? Let's go ahead and resume here. I'm gonna pause the music for a second. We'll copyright free tavern music and we'll hit resume here and let's see where we left off oh my goodness oh yeah we had quite a few things in here didn't we we had just looked at the aurora hydration and food are pretty low right now but the sun will be coming up soon our rest is just fine 0.59 gallons here all right let's go let's go anybody in chat play this game before by the way If you have, then you know exactly how fun it can be. You haven't played it before, Mod Driver? Not once. Yeah, I guess some kind of food. We did find the rifle, though. We can go do some deer hunting and get some deer meat if we need to. So that should be pretty good for our food. I'm trying to think of where we need to head next. No, but after watching, I want to... Uh, Want to once I get some game money, yeah. Never played Live Vicariously through you. Gotcha, gotcha. It's such it's such a fun game. It's such a fun one. We actually didn't search all the drawers in here, so let me search and see if there's well, yeah, see if there's some extra eat. calories in here. I feel that after this, we're gonna go ahead and move over to We might even move to Mystery Lake. I don't know. We might move to Mystery Lake. Just backtrack a little bit, go through the dam and see what we can find there because we still need oh we did we searched a couple of these the aurora is going on right now that's why all the lights are flickering uh, it's just a sink some chips on the counter and we'll need some more calories here this is a, this is probably my favorite i won't even say one of my favorites i'll probably say my favorite survival game <laughs> it is so dang good Upper cabinets. I wonder who owns Search this these stuff. two. Hey, Cal. 
Oh, maple, oh, maple syrup. That's very good for calories. But I'm also trying to remember exactly how to get back to Mystery Lake. If we're going to go all the way over there. I think there's a whole cave system we have to go through as a shortcut, but I'm not sure if that's the right way. This could be, we could make a huge mistake today, or we could actually find a uh, shortcut. That'll come in handy. Oh, is this for, this is for, it's only 0.22 pounds. Let's go ahead and take that to the magnifying glass. I'd really like to find the revolver too, to handle these wolves. We're on stalker difficulty. So that's going to be, that's going to be a little tough. Now, the other things we have to worry about is what? Our carry weight is oh dis distress pistol. I don't I don't think I'm gonna take that distress pistol with me. This might be a bad decision, but we have torches here. I have a couple of fishing hooks. We could what we could do is go out and catch some fish for some food. The fish are usually pretty heavy. We have these. The ketchup chips are twenty nine percent. Let's take a risk on these ketchup chips, huh? Twenty two on a. Anything that's under 20, I, I don't go for. Usually it's under 30. We're still pretty early in the game, so I'm gonna see. That one seemed okay. You'll know if you get food poisoning right away. This one should be okay too, right? They're, pre they're preserved chips. It's 300 more calories right there, okay. Cool. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I, I feel like we sh probably should go and and see some of these other spots, man. Try and get some different, some different clothing, honestly. We have water here. We have everything back this way in case we need to um, revert back over here. Go ahead and rest. We got full like vitals and everything too. And we woke up fully rested. So, uh, game's doing something weird. Is it? What is? What is it doing here? Is it because my foot was on my brake pedal? The steering wheel's not plugged in anymore. We should be okay. Aurora's still going off, which means it's still nighttime. Trying to think what else we should take with us. Let's check our inventory. Inventory weight. We don't have a whole lot. So if we do go through back through the caves, let me check my let's check this. We have the rabbit skin hat. It's hundred percent. We have this of 95. That one we can drop. We had clothing up here, didn't we? Stump remover. We had clothing up here, so why don't we go ahead and drop this other hat here? Is 0 0.22. We're gonna sort by weight and see. We have some sticks. That's good. 3.87 pounds. We're gonna need this lantern. We have the hatchet. That's already good. That's good. That's good. I think we repaired everything except for this. I need two cloth. We had cloth and we put it in this backpack, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. We'll take four just in case we mess up the repair. I'm gonna repair this sleeping bag while we're over here. So let's do that, or the bedroll, I should say. Actions and repair. Let's do that. Good. And it did fail the first time. Okay, let's try it again. There is a windstorm picking up right now. It sounds like. Maybe it quit. I don't know. We have these. We have these. I could drop a couple of those. Just to save a little bit of weight. 0 0.81. We're going to use these the whole way we go. The one thing we don't need are those. There's a weird sound going on in the, in the distance. You hear that sound like a rocket or something outside. These are 100, 96, 93, 99, 83. Could try and repair these. These are at 89. Oh, we could try and repair these too. Get a little cloth. Well, let's try and do a couple repairs while it's still dark. I don't... I don't know. We should just go ahead and like take seven. And we'll, we'll just put the stuff back in that we don't need. Alright, clothing. 
And actions repair that. Try and get these up to 100%. Because the higher percentage they are, the warmer they'll keep us. So those are at 100% good. And these are at 83. So let's repair those too. Good, good, good. Oh, failed. Hang on, let's try again. Cool. Alright. And everything else, 97, 190, and 90%. 90% is okay. 95, and that's, oh, these are, that's at 55. Let's repair that. That'll probably be the last thing we repair. Got up to 100. Okay, good. So now we'll put the cloth back in here, and we are just going to go ahead. We have three cloth. That's, that's okay. Anything else we don't need? Probably put a little bit of this cured leather in here. Let's go ahead and put all five. Transfer. I want to try and get as, as low weight as possible for our little trip that we're going to do over here. That's pretty much good so far. And beer lichen, wound dressings are fine. We got rid of the antiseptic, right? Yeah, we did. Because I was pretty heavy. Get an extra can in here. It's going to be weird when I come back and see that can. And we could brew some coffee. If we get a fire. So we'll brew some coffee if we get a fire. Let me double check my matches and everything. Make sure we're not leaving without matches. We have 23 matches. That's fine. And uh, we're going to wave. We're going to wave goodbye to this little place. And I'm going to go see. Thank goodness. I'm going to go see if we can find our way out of here. Let's go. We should have just enough food to get to the next region. Which, uh... Is going to be... Through the cave. Thompson's Crossing and then over here, yeah. We'll see. There's a, uh, a mining spot up the top, which is a tunnel. I don't know if that still acts as a shortcut. I hope it does. But we're going to check it out. I took the ammo out of this to clean it. So let's make sure we put the ammo back in just in case. Run into a bear or something like that. I already see a wolf up here. I really don't want to use rifle rounds on a wolf, though. Mm. I don't think there's any way around it, though. So I throw a stone at him. Could shoot him. Could go the other way though. Secret tunnel. It's it's not quite a secret tunnel. You find you find the tunnel in the story mode of the game. So if there are any spoilers, don't uh, don't say I didn't warn you. There's a deer on the ice over there, two to the left. I'm gonna try and go around a little bit this way. The water is already down, but I want to get over here while there's daylight. We won't have to worry about daylight too much when we're in the tunnels. For that, we're going to need some, uh, probably some wood and stuff. We're, we're just going on a hope that we can get over there. The tunnel of love. It's not the love tunnel, man. It's not a tunnel of love. It's not a secret tunnel. It is a, you'll see the tunnel when we get there. How about that? I won't ruin the surprise. You'll see what it is. Let's drink a little bit too, just to get some of this carry weight off of us. I picked up a little bit more water before we left, so we should be st stocked on that. Good. It's not a tunnel of love, Luce. How you doing, man? Welcome over to the YouTube stream. Man, I picked up my drink like it was full. And there was only a little bit left in there. You ever do that? It was it was the worst when like... You guys been around when those old like tinted milk bottles? You know I'm talking about? The milk bottles that were like a... Like a beige or even a white outside. They weren't clear milk bottles. And uh, sometimes like... Mom would... Or dad would go to the grocery store. And he'd be almost out of your gallon of milk. And they'd get a second gallon of milk and you couldn't tell which one was which because they buy the exact same milk. And so you got the one that you thought was the full one that you thought was going to weigh like 10 pounds. 
and you lift it up with all your strength, but really it's the one that's only there with a couple of sips left in it, and you smash it against the roof of the fridge, thinking you would have... Yeah, milk goes everywhere, thinking you'd spend a half an hour cleaning it out. I did that. Once. If you've done that, you know. Horrible. There might be some timber wolves up here too. We're on stalker difficulty, so I'm not sure if there are going to be timber wolves on this part of the map. I know there are going to be some on the on the other parts of the map, but I don't know about this one. I guess we'll find out soon. And if there are timber wolves, then hell yeah, I'm shooting them with the uh, with the rifle. Let's go up to this tunnel though. The tunnel might at least be a little bit warm. Kals has had a, a gallon of milk explode in your car. In your car? In your car? How? It was never the same again? Yeah, dude, and that's the same way your fridge will be, too. If you spill milk in there and you don't clean it up right away? Ter terrible stuff, man. How did it... In your in your car? Defective jug? You have to get a whole new car after that. There's another deer up here. Just see him? Just up ahead of us, right there. We're not taking that deer. I don't have time to cook it. I don't have the carry weight for the meat. And I don't want to use the rifle round either. Because if I shoot the deer and it doesn't go down, then I got to chase it. And we have just a good enough window right here and just good enough clothing that we can get up here. And hopefully, we're already at three quarters on our fatigue. Hopefully we can get inside if there's some, if there is some wood on the inside. Not to mention I picked up a couple of sticks. We can light a quick fire, drink a coffee, and try and get a uh, bite of food. And then we'll have that energy boost. And we will get through this cave. If this cave is a nice little detour. If it's not, then I have no idea what we're going to be doing. It's split on the seam of the container, Cal. Oh, no. Right on the seam. And that seems like... That seems like you could... <laughs> I don't know how long ago this was, and I hate to be this guy, but at the same time, right? Like, if it's a defective bottle that caused you property damage, think about it. it. Caused you property damage in such that your car was smelling like sour milk or anything to that effect, man. That, that takes quite a bit to try and steam clean out, dude. Trust me, I worked at the car wash. I did some detailing. You don't want to know what people spill in their cars. But if that was none of your own fault, seems like they'd, they would rather um, just send you a couple of bills, man, for a, for a deep cleaning and have you write anything that would put their, their milk jugs in a bad light, because then nobody's going to buy them. They're like, oh, well, this guy's milk jug is split in half. Didn't even do anything. Here's the cave. Does this look like a tunnel of love to you guys? Huh? Ice Claw, what's up, man? How's it going? What Darren Aaron? Driving gloves, book. You have a book. Woof. Did I pick up coal yet in uh, this playthrough? I don't think I did. Thirty minutes with a hatchet. One hour by hand. If it's for the fire that we're gonna try and do right here, then I guess let's go. We can even take a torch to save on some lantern fuel, but we're going to try and get that coffee right now. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go fire. And we will try and set one down. Come on, let me put one down somewhere. Oh no, I, I don't like going into the dark like this. Eh. I just need a nice open space for this fire. I need light. Anything I missed back here? There's a stone. Driving gloves there, not picking those up. No coal. Coal raises the heat a tremendous amount, but you also want to save that. Because there are certain things that coal is used for as well. I need this coffee going so our... I might have to sneeze chat. We're going to follow the right side wall for this. Hey, Joe! Hey, Joe! Excuse me. Oh, that was a manly sneeze, right? I can't start a campfire indoors? Oh, well then we're, we're going right back up here. Oh! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ice Claw. No problem, man. Thank you for sending that to me, by the way. I will do what I can. Hopefully, I have a little bit of... Well, maybe a, just a slight little modicum of sway that I can make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else. We're just going to light the fire outside, then F it. Hopefully, the wind isn't up. It doesn't... Oh, my goodness. Put the lantern out. Save that fuel. Each for holster. Then we're going to do this, that, that, that. All right. Fire right here. Ma a magnifying glass. Something is walking around, by the way. It's about the same percentage as starting it with anything else. What? Just run away. Come on. Yeah. What? He... It's because there's no sun. Okay. There's no sunlight. It's overcast. Oh. All right. Let's start it up. Let's see if we can get oh, Come on. Let's see if we can get it going. Do that, do that, do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha, Ice Claw, yeah. That would do it. We didn't need to put that much of a uh, of a thing on it. We could get a warming up bonus from that, but we could also get it from the Cafefe, right? Select the can, and then we do tin of coffee. That one, cook. We got tin of coffee, cook, and we'll also how's our how's our food our need? We should probably do pinnacle peaches too. Let's cook whichever one's lower. 88, 88 pork and beans. Let's do that. We'll get that one going. Now, 14 minutes and 8 minutes. Well, these are cooking. I'm going to refill my tea real quick. Last, I hope they don't burn. Okay, I think we're back. Let's take that. Two minutes until ready. We'll pick that back up. One minute until ready. We could take a torch and put it out. Right on our thigh. <sighs> take another torch. Put it. On. Put it out on our thigh. Yeah. Hit H to holster that. These torches could help us through this tunnel if we, uh, if we run out of flares, so I'm just going to take a bunch of them. I don't know what else we're going to find in here, man. A crowbar would be nice. I don't want to get too over-encumbered. We're going to take one more. That was a pretty good one. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. All right, and that. We can go ahead and eat that. That I have the pork and beans lowers your thirst. Weird. Okay. Let's go to our inventory. We're going to go for food here. And this is hot coffee, so we'll go ahead and drink that. That was the one that I wanted because that one is going to lower our fatigue rate as we go through here. Now, the other thing that I could do is just make two more coffees. Cook uh, with the can. Uh, select tin of coffee. Cook that and select cook tin of coffee or tin of can. Can of tin. Can't. You. I. No. Cancel. Don't open that. Uh, cook tin of, tin of coffee. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Okay, and we'll just pick that up, pick that up, and we only need to pick up one of these cans. All right, so now we're good. Fatigue reduced. Good. All right, now we're going. Now we're now we're getting ready to explore the cave. Let's pull the uh, lantern back out, and uh, we have all of our buffs on right now, which is good. I'm gonna hope 
to goodness, this is the way to go. Yeah, all that stuff. Very good. Sunlight doesn't matter while we're down in this tunnel. The only thing that matters is that you guys are here and having a good time. And we still have some storage weight with us. Let's pray to goodness that there is no no wolves, no bears in this tunnel. <laughs> There's a coal. Nice. We'll look for those. I see a box. A box in the, I see a box right there. So let's remember that right side one is the one we're going for. How the heck do we... There's another tunnel right there. Okay. So let's just... Oh my goodness. There's three coals right here and here and here. Does coal respawn? Does anybody know? Oh. Got a backpack. Look here. And someone who didn't quite make it through. 49%. Okay, those are passable. Yeah, they were on the wrong side of this. So we know that this one is not the right way to go. Let's go... Man, there's so much coal everywhere. I think coal is fairly lightweight, but I'm not 100% sure on that. There's a lot of it, too. I don't know if it respawns. Still going around the right... Isn't this the same way that I just went? Oh my goodness, there's so much. Yeah, must be the same tunnel. Let's keep on the right side wall. If you're ever in a cave system or something like this, especially in video games, just just pretend that you're holding your hand out and, and keeping contact with one side of the wall. It can be the right side of the wall. It can be the left side of the wall. Just pretend your character's holding their hand on that right side of the wall or left side and just tracing that all the way through the cave and you shouldn't have any problems finding a way out you you won't be like turning your back doing Someone circles stash. In circles or anything like that I'm actually finding some good stuff here all right we are encumbered now that's okay man i still don't have a crowbar how convenient would it be if one of these lockers had a crowbar in it i'm gonna leave that shirt extra weight. All right, still fall on the right hand side of the wall. Pick up the coal. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Good. How heavy are we? 79. That's not too, too heavy. We're at five, six gallons. If there's anything that I could drop, what would it be? A couple of sticks, maybe? 15 sticks. I want to keep those. Yeah, we're not too heavy right now, so we'll keep going forward. Let me just see if we can get all the way through. Two more coal. How much do these weigh each? Man, we picked up probably like 10 or 12 of them by now. They are very important for crafting things. Keep on the right side wall. I see a gate. Let's check the gate. Fatigue reduced is expired. We'll definitely get the sewing kit though. Simple tools survive the outdoors. Oh, that might be my fire starting. That might be my my fire starting book. This will come in. A t-shirt? No, we're not taking a t-shirt. No thanks. Let's see if there are any tools in here. Pry bar? No. Nope. Pry bar? No. Nope. Right side of wall. Here we go. I, to a certain point, I need to stop picking up this coal, man. It's going to weigh me down too much. There's so much of it in here, though. And it's so good. The reclaimed wood. I'm going to bring this back over here, and I'm going to put the reclaimed wood in a uh, drawer. In that tool chest, along with the firewood. We have enough sticks to give us an emergency fire if we need it. I left all the uh, lantern fuel back the other place like a dum dum. All right, so by weight, it's weighing 21 pounds of coal. We're gonna put that in here. And we're gonna put what else did I say here? Um, reclaimed wood, right? Yeah, that. But we had more of it. I have an extra sewing kit. Now that's gonna do much. Dang, dude. I guess the cloth, too. That's fine. 
Now, what are we at? 87. That's not too bad. Oh, and another goal. Oh, no. All right, we'll go this way next. Still fall on that right side wall. Remember, we came down that right side one and then came back. We should have let us kind of over here-ish in a way. So this has got to be a dead end, right? Maybe. Didn't I just say something about... Not backtracking and doing circles? And what did we just do? Just our, did ourselves a little circle. Although there was a path to the left in that one. Let's we'll see if this is a dead end. What are we doing on water and everything? Good. You could probably drink some water to lower... Oh, you know what? Shoot, I should have had a coffee instead. Oh, no. Nothing there. We're going to take the storm lantern and put it back on the shelf, too. Because we are heavy. Dude, I could probably put some of the coal over here, too. I could do that. What do you guys think, chat? Put some coal in here just to save some, some space. Some weight. At least it's not going to, like, disappear on us. Let's put, like, uh... Oh, we could put ten in here. And then the next next drawer down, we might be able to put a couple more. Okay. And we're just going to put the lantern on the, uh, on the ground. Drop that. Okay, so we're at 77.89. That's the one that's actually I need to drop something. lit, though. Hang on. Is this the one I picked up? Yeah. So that one's not lit or anything. Which means this one is actually almost half on fuel. So we need to make a little bit more haste. Now, so it's just about half a pound over encumbered. That's okay. That's not too bad. It's better than what we were. So now we're going to keep finding some coal. We have a lot of coal back at that little storage. All right, let's keep going. Don't tell me. Wasn't I just giving you guys tips on how to not get turned around? We just got turned around. Just got turned around. We're coming back up here. So we're going to take the right and then the left. It created itself an island. But I wasn't all I also wasn't following my rule to the T. Not going down that way. We're going up this way. Now we are taking a right. Cause yeah, we went we went down the right side and then we found something. We came back down here to drop it off. This had another route that way, because that's a dead end. And then we went back, so we didn't explore this way. Let's keep exploring this way. Unless this brings us all the way around again. No, keep on the right wall. There's some more coal we didn't pick Might up. Have to drop some gear. Mm hmm That's good. We'll find our way out yet. We're a little bit under half. Oh, I see some daylight up here too. We might be almost out. I think we're almost out. Chocolate bar. I think I can use this. Our sevens, we're gonna leave those down there because I don't have the inventory to actually carry them. Another revolver cartridge. No revolvers though. We have gone all this time without finding a revolver, chat. That seems a bit weird to me. But maybe not, I don't know. We'll fill that lantern up as soon as we get a chance. And we're gonna leave that flare there too in case we have to come back. The mine! And they call it a mine. A mine! Let's see where this puts us. Just because we're out of the mine doesn't mean we're out of danger. So let's see where it puts us up. Coastal? Oh no, the coastal highway? Okay. I forgot this brought us out to the coastal highway, man. This could be... I don't know, this could be... good for us. If I can remember where we need to go, this could be okay. 
been a while since I was over here. Let's get to the uh, watchtower. I feel like there's a watchtower up here, chat. How are we feeling about the long dark content, by the way? I absolutely love this game. We're over 400 hours into it, which is why I kind of have an idea of where I'm going on these maps. But there's still a couple of places with DLC that I haven't been to yet. So we're going to explore that together. And that should be quite fun. Yeah, there should be a nice little watchtower up here. I can just check my vitals real quick. Vitals are good. What I'd really love to do is get a nice little fire going and heat up some coffee. That might be smart to do right now, actually. Let's do that. I was just going to be a very quick fire. I wonder if we can use that. We can't use that right now. We can use the wood matches, though. Let's do this. Let's warm up a coffee. We need cold on the line we come back for it oh for sure yeah for sure i'm making little mental notes where i'm hiding where i'm tucking the stuff away like a like a squirrel hiding nuts man so i know we have what did i put 10 and then another five or seven so we have plenty of coal in that mine in between pleasant valley and coastal highway but there are a couple of other mines too now the all right we're not gonna waste that on that. Let's do that, that, that. We also had torches from the other fire. They go, do they go down in durability? That's a 28. That's a 25, we can add those. Hey, we'll add that one too. So the thing we can do is just cook um, and we have a coffee. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a coffee. We'll warm up, we'll drink that. And that should give us a fatigue reduction. Let me take one of our torches back as well, just in case there's a wolf up here. How about that? Good. I love I love the new effect on the torches, by the way. There's even like a blue to the flame. Look on the very top, like right where the flame is on this torch. It looks so good. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to come back at some time. Because we will be needing that coal if we survive for a very long time. The coal was used for heating furnaces that can smelt metal and smelt tools. And those are only in a couple places. In Desolation Points. Man, if I wasn't so full in my backpack, we'd shoot this deer right here and try and take some meat. We already have some candy bars and stuff, so that deer got lucky today. Let me keep going up this way. Oh, wait. Is this... Is that the watchtower? It might... This might be the watchtower right here. I think it is. We get a nice view of the surrounding area, too. And I may, depending on how much... Ah, oh, we don't have too much fatigue. Might be able to make it down to the fuel station. That's going to be a big if, though, so I'll have to hurry. I don't really like hurrying in this game. I like taking my time. Because when you hurry, you sprain your ankle. When you sprain your ankle, you can't run from wolves. Something's got to go. When you can't run from wolves, that's when you end up dying. And we don't want to do that, do we, chat? We don't want to do that. That way, that way. Okay. See what's up here. If I can find a revolver, I will be very happy. What if we don't? That's okay too. No wolves, so I'm gonna drop that torch. Let's see. Don't die. I know that's the name of the game, right? Well the name of the game is the long dark, but you get you get what I'm saying. It's the highway, okay. And a lookout. You know what else? The snow falling down? This is what is happening there? With the snow falling down. It is, um, it's going to make us damp with our clothing. A note. The most violent storm always begins and ends in a whisper. I've left this place now because the last summer is coming. If you want to find me, I'm paddling across shattered ice to the Arctic sunset. These lights shouldn't be in the sky. It's a dance. I don't know. Somehow we must progress from this. In a different age, we walked out of the hot sands of the old continent. 
Now we're here again. The long dark is coming. Oh, roll credits. The long dark is coming. All these tools will become useless. Take a step. Walk because it's your destiny to make it out of here. Let's take that with us. It's another signal distress pistol. I'm not gonna pick that up. There's a bed here though. What's our how's our daylight doing? Dude, that daylight's almost daylight's almost done. I could, if I really wanted to, go get that deer. And then just cook it up here. But it's only a one slot stove. There's also tell me that's rifle. Oh, it is rifle. Nice, 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 nice. Good find. Here's the question. The sun's almost down, and I don't know if I could make it down there to the other houses in time because it's very steep. I feel like I should wait the night here, but I don't know if I have enough food. If I check my food here. Oh, we have enough food. Yeah, we got plenty of food. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to stay in here. Close that door. And our temperature is fine. We have the warming up bonus, but our temperature is still fine. Let's read this book. This one. And we're going to try and research as much of it as we can until that sun goes down. We actually got all five hours of it. Wow. So that book is good. That book is fine. Then we'll spend the night in here. I'll see if there's anything else I need to patch up. Not that I really can in the dark. But we'll see. We'll check. Oh, we don't have cloth. It's okay. I'm not carrying any extra clothing. But I am carrying torches. It's all sorted by weight. Yeah. We have 24 coal here. We have 24. Wow. 24. And it's dark. So. Let's go ahead and drink. We don't have any herbal tea. I thought we had a herbal tea at some point. Drink this non-caffeinated soda. Do you... Here's a question for chat. Do you call it soda? Where you are? Do you call it pop? Do you call it coke? Do you call it a soft drink? What do you call it? I call it soda here. I live in North Carolina, so... We, we, call, it, we call it soda around these parts there, brother. What do you, what do you guys call it? Rest of the sun's not even up yet. You call it soda too, mod driver? That's what I call it, man. Call it pop, Cal? Every now and then, just to throw somebody off at a restaurant, I'll call it soda pop. But I don't call it pop by itself. Soda pop is about as much as I'll go. I should have, yeah, this one. I might be able to craft these. I'll wait for that sun to come up. Didn't take as long as I thought. Tinder plugs from a newsprint roll? Yeah, I can do that. Why don't I pick up a newsprint roll? Let the sun come up a little bit. And that from sticks. Yeah, we want to keep these sticks though. Okay, we have a sprain wrist because we're carrying a lot. We can fix that by eating a couple things. 49% here. Sardines, man. Sardines. You pop a can of sardines to go with your pop that you're drinking. A few calories here. A few calories here. Excuse me. That's about it. Uh, let's see if I can sleep. Let's go ahead and pass time for one hour, and then I'm going to try and sleep for two hours. See if that sun comes up a little higher, huh? Let's try that.
There we go. There's some sunlight. Now, new day. One thing we could do, because I'm going to be getting some... Oh, I wonder... Hang on. If we have... Where is this? It's got to be around here somewhere. That one, yeah. Oh, let's go ahead and grab... Let's go ahead and just take a charcoal from this, too. Let's see if we can survey right up here. There we go. Ooh, we got a nice big area, too, from that one. That wind is picking up, though. You guarantee it's going to be cold outside. What I can do, we're at 0.37 gallons, is I can light this. That wind is picking up now, though. I'll leave now. I'll leave now and get to the next place. We can do this at the next place, but I do want that fatigue bonus. Let's start a fire. All right. We're going to do wood matches. We're going to do a stick. Let's try it. 55%. Dude, our fire starting level went up by a level. Didn't it? Read that book, man. It helped. Come on. Come on. Because we were getting 40%. And now we got a 55% on that Turned one. Out pretty well. All right. This will also help us, like, cut down on some of our weight, huh? So we'll do that. Now, this is a trick that a lot of people don't know. You go to your food and do your coffee. You can drop it. Then right-click, move that close to the fire, and it's warming up. See that? It's warming up because it's close. Then we go cook, and we are going to make some... We're going to make some water from the cooking pot, and we're going to do 0.39. It's 46 minutes, though. And the cool thing is, it's going to just stay hot. It's not going to burn, because it's not on direct heat. So, you can just wait for that to melt, and for that to boil. Let me just go ahead and take that, pick that up, and our coffee is still hot and ready. And just take that, we'll drink it, and we'll go. You guys didn't know about that, did you? Just drop the coffee and move it towards the fire. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do. Now, while there's plenty of daylight... I'm gonna try and make it down that way. We got a little ways to go though, and hopefully there aren't too many wolves. There is... What is the gas station called over here? It's called the Quonset Gas Station? Let's call it something like that. I'm going to try and make our way down to that without falling off a cliff, though. That is very steep. Oh my goodness. That is a rope down, though. This could also be a rope down, but I don't have a rope for it, so we got to walk down a little bit. Abandoned lookout. And we do have some extra water that we'll go ahead and fill up on. That way... Oh, we're still just, just slightly above 77. I heard that deer again. I heard that deer. There was another one back on the other tree. I saw it, chat. Don't worry. I saw it. This might be too steep as well. You can sometimes... Kind of cheese down these slopes by crouch walking down, and you shouldn't be too susceptible to sprained ankles on steep slopes, especially when you're over encumbered. Little, another little trick for you. Just crouch walk sometimes. When in doubt, crouch it out. That's what I say. Oh, this is very steep though. Oh, this one makes me very nervous. Ooh. Let's try it. There we go. Oh, there's a little totem over here. Let's see what this is. We're still on a very steep slope, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna not. This is part of the, uh, the first founders of the game. They left these over here. Karns. This story is not yet written. Backer 214. Write your story, man. I'd love to hear it. Okay. I see a little bit of sign of civilization. There's also a rabbit up here. 
But I do have a little bit of junk food still in my inventory. So we could take that rabbit if I had a stone. But it's also, think about it this way. When you have like raw animal meat in your inventory, even like uncured animal guts and things like that, the wolves can smell that. And they will chase you from further away if they can smell you. How can I not pick that up, man? That rabbit was right there. It almost deserves to get beamed by a rock. That thing was right next to me. Let's see if we have any goods in here. We'll make it quick. Excellent. Go energy drink. Those can be used in a in a in a pinch. See some condensed milk over here. Oh, pinnacle peaches and sardines. Okay, not bad. Work boots. We don't want those. Got a lot of books in here. It's gonna weigh us down. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's just try and take what we need. And nothing else too superfluous. I'm even gonna drop this book I just picked up. That one. I'll keep this one, just because I'm not 100% sure if he actually read all of it or not. I think that's everything. Work boots here? Oh, hang on. Metal container? Revolver? No, nope, nothing in there. Everything else is fine, man. I hope they have some, uh, I hope they have a fiber connection in here, man. I get so bored in a cabin like that. No fiber connection. I don't have fiber where I am right now, but you get what I'm saying. It's some kind of internet. Not that it would work because all the power is out of here. What have we here? I just see I just saw something nice. 4.4 pounds, but that fire log would be real good. Food. And what else do we have in here? Nothing. Nope. I cannot believe we haven't found the revolver yet. Not very many guns in this game. There are not. The spray paint under the, uh, under the desk. There's the revolver, the rifle. There is also a bow that you can craft yourself. And I think that's it for projectiles. What up, Obblor? How's it going? Welcome back. I should really pop one of these rabbits just for principle. They're being cheeky. They'd be so easy to get. Dude, I can walk up to this one and grab it. Grab them. Why doesn't the game let you do that? We're trying to get all the way down to the gas station though. <laughs> How's it going on, Blore? Thanks for tuning in. Over on the YouTube stream. We're just in survival mode right now, trying to get stocked up enough that we can actually go out and, and see some of these uh, DLC places. Make sure I have a, a rifle and a revolver, because I have tons of revolver ammo, but not a revolver yet. So that's the main thing I'm looking for, and then we can probably start working our way over there. If I can just find a revolver. So we're starting to, uh, starting to work our way down. Have you played? Have you played this before, Abler? Miss uh, losing hours playing this game. You have played this before, yeah. It's a uh, it's a really really amazing game. That wind just picked up. Oh god, hang on. There's a bear up here. Those are bear tracks. Those are bear tracks, and the weather just picked up. I'm getting this out just in case. We are not going the same way the bear went. We're going down this way. I was like, footprints? Who is who's walking ahead of me? Not foot not foots. Paw prints. Take an alternate detour right here. We get some cover though, this is a nasty little squall. Alright, that's the road. We should be going this... This way. 
I think, to the gas station. Is that it? That's not it, that's a rock. I don't think the wolves are out during the blizzard, are they? Our temperature's dropping fast. We gotta make haste. The storm kicked up out of nowhere, man. So is survival mode different from the game? No, the game, the game includes a campaign, which is one mode campaign and it also has a survival mode so the campaign's the storyline and survival mode it just puts you anywhere in the map where the campaign takes place and you just survive as long as possible we're playing survival right now we played campaign the other night which has uh, other npcs and uh i don't think we went the right way hang on we gotta find some kind of shelter here there's a car Man, I don't know if we can light a fire behind this car. If we can, we might be saved. It's blocking the wind. I think. But no, the, the game Long Dark has survival mode and campaign in, in the same game. Is our temperature not going up? Until that fire reaches a certain temp. Oh, this is a rough, this is a rough one, man. That storm. There we go. Our temperature's going up now. We used the we used the car. So the car was here. The wind was here. We built the fire on this side. So the car is actually blocking the wind, but the wind can also switch. It can also switch and change positions. So I should probably. Leave a coffee over there if I have another coffee. I don't know if I do. Ugh, I don't think I. I don't think I do. We could try and brew a coffee out there, or we could just wait for the storm to die down. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're they're both the same game. Strange. Both the same game. I'm also nervous if I get out of this door, it might put me on top of that fire and I'll get burned. So, I had to think quick. This is keeping us warm for now. I can try and get sticks and put the sticks on here so we have a double up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try it. Shit, damn it. That burns now. I knew it. Freezing. Knew it was gonna happen. Man, let's just add one of the coal. That hurts so much. We're getting the front. Now we got a two arrows up. Dude, I knew we should have gotten the front to start with. There's gotta be something useful in here. I could have got I could have got out the left side and then walked around the car and got in the front, man. I just thought they're the pain. Hang on one sec. The pain, really? Let's use one of these. We use a painkiller. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything else, right? Burns. Treatment. And a bandage. Okay, so we got we got that. Let's go here, do that, do that, use that, use that. Burn my hand. I guess the car door handle was hot. So that's fine. Hypothermia risk is very low. And our heat is going up by three. Okay, so that's fine. What we can do, I don't know how long this fire is gonna last though. That's the other problem. 
Make sure we don't get burns. Okay, we're fine. Can't feel my feet. A couple more sticks. We're gonna check on that fire. Oh my god, there were a lot of sticks. Thank goodness. Go add these to the fire. Three hours thirty-four. Good. All right. So three hours thirty-four. One thing we can do while we're warming up is go ahead and read this book. Oh my goodness. Let's read it for three. That'll be our three hours. We're all the way warmed up. That's good. And as I thought, it might just be enough time for that storm to blow over. We didn't even have to use the fire log. Yeah, the wind switched and everything, but we made it and we are good. So where the heck is the, uh, where's the gas station, dude? Did I go the wrong way? I might have gone the wrong way for the gas station, unless it's up here. Let's see if there's any food we can... Oh, 24? Oh, uh, tell you what. It's a branch. How? What's our daylight looking like? We don't have enough daylight. We'll get, we'll get the food sorted when we get to this gas station. It might just be right up here around this next bend. You know, that could be how close it is. We just, we were freezing to death, so we had to hop in that car, man. Get the fire over there. We're just gonna walk it. Unless I have... Oh, I have chocolate bars. Those are good. Use those for calories. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, this, this looks like where the gas station is. Okay. I hear wolves. It's one on the ice. I see them. It's way over there. Right there. There he is. There's a couple little fishing shacks on the lake too, and we have a couple of fishing lines. So we should be able to go out there at some point. No, this isn't, this isn't where the gas station is. This is further up. And there's, oh, no way you just saw me. No way that thing just saw me. How? We're all the way up by the other side here. We can get, yeah, 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 we're up by the edge. Okay. I'm gonna holster this. This is the one with the bunks in it, or this might not be the one with the bunks in it. We gotta, it is, okay. We gotta hold out here for a little bit. Dang it. We'll be able to survive the night, though. This stuff will come in handy. A scar. Cool. We can... We can make this work. Make this work. Alright. Stack of papers now that we need them. Pillow. We might be able to get cloth from that. Beds, bunks. That. Good, good. And wood. There's one... I think there's one of these that actually has... There might be one of these that actually has a, uh, a fireplace in it. I don't know, though. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to try and move over to another one, though. We got everything out of this one that I need. There's nothing under that, huh? No. Yeah, we're gonna, try, we're gonna try and go over to the next one then. That wolf seems to have gone away. This is the one I was thinking of, yeah. This doesn't have a stove in it or anything. But it's larger. Some reclaimed wood. One of these. One of these. Hope I can still eat this. Alright. Book. Not a not a skill book though. Why would you have a metal container under the bed with no revolver in it? Just out here trying to look for a revolver, man. Then we can go get to the DLC areas I don't know about. Alright, that stuff's fine. 
We are gonna be. We are gonna be over here for the night too, but I think these are insulated enough that we should be okay. All right, next next one, third one. Sometimes there is a bear that can patrol over here. This is the house we're gonna be staying in. That one, but we're gonna go search this real quick. There's also a bench behind it that oftentimes can have, yep, a line and a hook. Woo, and revolver yeah. ammo for our non-existent revolver. Let's take those work gloves too. I'm gonna compare them with our ski gloves. I think our ski gloves are better though. Oh, we have a laptop in here too. Hang on, is that? I thought it said hook. It did not. Use print roll, a crate. Yeah, summit soda though. Okay. Nothing under the bed there. Nothing under the bed there. We got a couple of lockers. How good would it be what if we found a crowbar sometime? That would be just peachy. More matches, because we have used quite a few. All right. Now we're going to hunker down for the night. Great job coming down in the valley. Unfortunately, we passed the fuel station. Fuel station was uh, left. I should have gone left. We went right. But that's okay. Everything from that crafting bench. Uh, one thing that I could do before it is nighttime, let's check the crafting bench, workbench, and try and make... No, we just, we just use them together, I guess, by hand, and we craft them. The hook and the line that we found, and there's plenty of fish out there that we can, uh, we can go fish for. That'll be good. Good stuff. Thanks again for hanging out, guys, on the YouTube channel. I'm gonna try and get uh, tomorrow. We're gonna be trying to. We, I say we. I mean myself and Floki. Floki's over there. He's snoozing on his bed. We. Just, just me and the dog supporting me. We're trying to put a couple of videos out from Manba Zoo. If you heard about that game, I want to try and get those out onto YouTube, and then, of course, these are gonna be going live. I just, uh, at the start of the stream today, the live stream. Start the live stream today. I made our last live stream public, so you can go back and, uh, and find the full playthrough that we did. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can go and find that on the channel on the past live streams. Now, I have a lot of live streams that are not public. They're all unlisted. But if there's something you want to see... Hope nobody needs this anymore. You let me know, and I'll try and uh, I'll try and play it. If I have played it already, then I'll try and put up some content for it. I don't have anything on the map, do I? One thing that I could do here is go ahead and take another piece of charcoal, like that, and use it and scout. I cannot map indoors. Let's try and map it right outside this place. We'll do that. Those are our cabins, fishing camp. Yep. All right, so the fuel, the gas station is probably right there, honestly. No chance we can get there before the sun goes down. But I can go and look for a couple of sticks. I could start a fire here and cook some coffee. Oh my goodness, a mountaineering rope. I'm going to pick that up. I know we're already encumbered. I'm going to pick that up and we're putting that in the third cabin down. We're going to drop it inside here. We just don't have a stove in here, man. Where are we gonna go? Uh, how did these cabins not have little tiny stoves? Oh, you know what place does have a stove? Those little fishing huts. Those little fishing huts outside have stoves. This weighs 11 pounds, by the way. 11! We gotta, we gotta drop it right there. Does that rope weigh 11 pounds? That's so heavy. Glad we looked in that little dinghy, though. If there's anything over here, nothing there. All right, we'll take a little peek around, see if we find any more sticks. We might just start a fire, brew up a coffee. I don't think I have any herbal tea yet, but if I do have herbal tea, let me check. Maybe I do. Ah, we haven't found herbal tea yet. Let's go ahead and eat those. Let's 
go ahead and eat. Oh, pinnacle peaches. Must be a lot. I guess it is a long rope. Yeah. I was thinking like, how could it be 11 pounds? It's just got to be like a very long rope. Fire starting material. You always want that. Always want that. Yeah, all those tiny little fishing huts, they all have a little stove inside, but these? These campground huts, they don't have a stove inside. What's up with that? We can sleep in any of these, but I do want to try and look for a couple more sticks or branches. Because tomorrow morning, who knows? That wolf is way over there. He shouldn't be a problem. Unless I hear a roof. He's coming over here. Alright, we're getting back in the cabin. We're gonna sleep, and then in the morning, we are going to go to the gas station. Third hut down. Let's check on the backside here. I don't think there is anything on the... Oh, he saw us. From all the way over there, by the way. Let's get inside. Wolves can't open doors, so we'll be okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, chat. Let's read the rest of this. Yep. Got it all researched. Good, good, good. Now. Hey, nice. Let's check our vitals. 0.59 gallons. That's fine. That summit soda get a little bit of calories in there from the soda and we'll get the rest of our water our potable water potable not potable chat try and find this bed there it is we'll sleep as long as we can so that sun comes up That didn't strike me as very long sleep. Well, the sun's almost up. That's okay. We're getting a little bit low on water, but that's, you know, well, next campfire we'll, we'll get more. Ooh, he's banged up pinnacle peaches, 24. That's a 54. We have to get a fire and make these uh, pinnacle peaches hot. If I can. Let's go ahead and pass time for an hour. Let the sun come up. Good. And then we will go try and sleep for one hour. And sleeping for one hour, to me, IRL, doesn't seem like it would do much. But hey, maybe it, maybe it works for some people. We'll go ahead and do this. And we'll start a fire outside. We'll put our coffee and our pinnacle peaches by the fire. We'll even take that book. And was there any other fire making material in here? The other crate. Let's go ahead and break that down by hand. Then we'll have enough uh, daylight to go over to the gas station. Alright. Let's go. And the fire should keep the wolf away too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's try and put this right outside here. Can I use the magnifying glass? I wonder. Nope, I can't. It's not bright enough. Start fire with the wood matches. We'll do it. Why do you keep uh, switching platforms? I'm so confused, demo guy. It's because I'm not sure where I'm going right now. Uh, we've been streaming on Twitch for almost four years. And Twitch has made some really bad decisions that really affect the streamers and make it very hard for us to stream over there, so... I am, uh, I am trying my best to stick with Twitch as, as long as I can. But also, like, check out other avenues that I might have for, um, for, for streaming. 
if that if that makes sense like a uh, backup plan kind of thing these let's go ahead and cook those pickle peaches so it's it's really just like surviving man when you stream full time and your your main platform is like hey we're making some we're making some really bad decisions you still with us and you're like i don't really want to be then you're like, well, who who is a stable platform for live streaming, you know? Who who is it? It's tough to say. Oh, did I not eat all of these? Eat those. What happened? <laughs> what? I, I don't think I hit cancel on those. Let's try and make a tin of coffee here. Drink that. Does that kind of make sense, demo guy? Like, we did a full seven hour stream over on Twitch earlier, and we're probably going to do at least a four hour stream over here on YouTube. 11 hours making, you know, Less than five dollars an hour. I mean, thank goodness Twitch carried us, because the four hours we're streaming over here, I, I'm not making any money until we can get to 1,000 subscribers over here, and then maybe I'll get a little tiny modicum of feedback from the ads they play on my my stuff. But it's just it's just tough, man. It's tough doing content creation dude it's it's everybody's favorite thing to say what do you what do you want to be when you grow up they ask these kids these days and they're all like i want to be a streamer i want to be a youtuber yeah they don't realize how tough it really is it's tough kids you don't want you don't, you don't want to do it as much as you think you want to do it you don't And you, you're hearing that, if you're even watching this video and you're hearing that, you're like, nah, I can do it, it's fine, you, you just did it the wrong way or something like that, I'll, I'll do it better. Hey, you might, you might do it better. There's probably a 0 .001 chance that you might, you might, or probably a 0.1% chance, I'll give you some credit, that you'll do it better. The fact that I'm talking to you right now after having a stream for almost four years and being able to scrape by and, and pay my bills... That alone is a miracle. But everybody just wants to be a YouTuber or a streamer or something. And I'll tell you, you put a lot more work into it. Be prepared to make less than minimum wage. Be prepared to like put your heart and soul into it. It is not like having even a minimum wage job. If money is really, really important to you, don't do it. If this lifestyle of being able to play games and talk and meet people from all over the world and make friends online that you can count on no matter what game you play, if that's important to you, do it. That's important, but start it as a hobby. Don't go into it to think you're going to make money. At all. At all. Unless you're really, really, really lucky. Or you know somebody who's already famous, alright? That's the last bit of advice I'll say. And be prepared for... <laughs> be prepared for a platform that you, uh... That you really, really like. to make some dumb decisions because the people running those platforms guess what they're just people like you and me also just because i have a camera and a microphone on me you think that makes me any less of a human no i'm just a human like every single other person watching this whether you're watching it live or you're uh are you watching the vod i'm just a human just like you we need to drink one of these by the way i was trying to get that warming up bonus this one? That one. This one? There it is. Warming up bonus and the fatigue reduction bonus. Alright, cool. So we do that. And we got the other one out. Energy bar is going. We're going to have to walk to that gas station now. That's it. And we go. Let's go back this way. I can almost see... What is, there's gotta be a button that you can zoom in. This game, please don't let that wolf see me. I need to just walk on the road. Hide line of sight. 
I don't want that wolf following me the whole way over to the gas station. Let me go this way. I can almost see it right here. It's over here. I don't want to have to shoot that wolf. I want to keep my ammo for bears and moose. Oh, there's also a moose that can show up behind the gas station. That'd be great. To kill that moose, man? Oh, we'd be set for food for life. And the uh, the hide? We can craft a moose, moose satchel out of that. And that'll add 11 more carry weight to us. That'd be great. But I don't, I don't know. There's a, I've seen the moose here on the highway. I've seen the moose. Where's the other place I saw the moose? Pretty sure I saw it. There's no way it was by the lake, was it? Was it by the lake? It might have been by the lake. It, it might have been. Moose meat, yeah. Dude, the, and the moose will drop so much meat. Talk about leveling up your cooking. Mystery Lake? Is that what it's called? Mystery Lake, I think. I think I saw the moose over there. I've killed the moose twice. One of them was right behind the gas station here. And the second time I killed the moose... Where the heck was it? I don't think it was in the musk egg. I'm really trying to remember where it was. There's also a house on that island over there, too. It's not rendered in right now. We're going to try and get to the gas station real quick because the sun's coming up. I can try. We're at 84. I'm gonna need to drop some of the stuff in the gas station as well. Probably some probably some coal until we start moving out. We'll drop all that coal and we'll have some some room in our bag to search and run out and do some things. We also have enough food to go ahead and uh and search around for like a day. So we kinda lost a day when we came over there and then had to backtrack all the way back over here. Where the heck was the other place that I saw that moose, though? One was here. It wasn't by the... wasn't by the dam. I'm trying to think of the areas on the map where you actually can run into the moose. I, I know for a fact one of them is right up here by the gas station. That one I know for certain. I'm trying to remember the second one, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I honestly feel like it was by the Trapper's Cabin in Mystery Lake. But I have, a, I have another smaller voice in my head saying you're wrong about that. What was over here besides the wolf earlier? Anything? The log sort. Oh no, he's right there. This might be the first wolf that we actually shoot. Cause I want to, I want to explore that building and even if we go back to the road, if he aggros me on the road, we're going to shoot him. And then we're going to explore that building. I just wish I had the revolver because the, the revolver ammo is so much more convenient to find. I thought for a second that was the bear over there. Is that the, There's no way. Is this the mine that I came out of? What is this? There's no way. The heck is this? I haven't seen this before. Is that the mine that I came out of earlier? What? This, this has got to be a a bin, the Cinder Hills coal mine. Nah, dude, this this has got to be a different mine. It's it's got to be. Oh yeah, there, I didn't remember seeing the flashlight. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Cinder Hills coal mine would have been a smart place to actually hide all the coal. Pry bar. Okay. 
We got a hatchet. Oh my goodness, there's stuff in here. So Cinder Hill's coal mine. search down here. I know this is going to be a bunch of coal though. We got to make it to the gas station though. We'll come back to this one. I, I knew this wasn't the same mine. Different mine, man. Different mine. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping mod driver that there might be one out here. If we can, uh, if we can make it to the gas station. Because that is, yes, that is something that we do need. We also need to melt some water down. But there are a bunch of danger doggos. There's a bunch of wolves. And there are a bunch of, uh, there is at least one bear out here in this area. And there potentially could be a moose. So I don't want to use the rifle if I don't have to. I don't want to use the rifle on the wolves. But I'd love to find the revolver. So I still have like, I think I have 40 rounds of revolver ammo. And even then, it's just me downing a wolf. If the wolf is near a place that I can cook that wolf meat up, I'm not going to eat the wolf meat yet. I think you need level five cooking to cook all the... Uh, trichinosis out of the wolves or any predator meat bears wolves so you need a high level of cooking before you even try and do that there eventually this could be a hopefully a long survival this this should have been my this should have been my indicator how do we have a freaking pry bar though we're set man i'm gonna drop a few more things i'm carrying way too much if you pick up the pistol i think the pistol's like at least four pounds right pistol in the trunk I think nope i can use this Pistol in the back seat. Nope. Oh, don't dressing your kill again. We can research that. What's up here? Candy bar? Take it. Another candy bar. Granola bar, even. Hmm. Gas station should be just right up here. All right, I know you guys are tired of hearing me say gas station, but I, I think it's up here. God, the sky is just so... I don't know how they even got that effect, man. The sky is just so magical in this game. I love it. It's so nice. I know we're encumbered. I'm picking up these sticks because they respawn. And we'll need a lot of them to boil some water. I'm going to do the same thing I did at the last place. We're going to boil some extra water. And we're just going to leave some on the ground. In case we need to come back and we don't have water on us, okay? Just for the explanation. Also a birch tree there, which means we might have some birch bark. There's our gas station. There's two wolves on the road. I see them up ahead. Just pixels on your screen. But I can see them right up there. One there and one right there. There might even be three. They're right outside the gas station. I really hope they're not timber wolves. That is the gas station right there. That blue building with the snow on the top. That's the gas station. We just set some stuff down inside there. And then we can come back out. And go loot these houses. But I don't know if it's going to be possible with all the wolves outside. 
two of them still right in front and one of them walking towards me. Need that one to turn away. Unless he's going to be our first victim. He, he might just have to be. Let's go to this house. I can go to this house without him attacking me. Should be okay. The moose that I killed was right behind this house. I don't see a moose. I see a wolf. He hasn't seen me yet, though. Man, we have so many sticks. Need to drop this coal, though. It's starting to weigh me down. I know, I know. I need to go drop this coal. There's a back door also to the gas station. If that wolf F's off for a little bit, I can get the back door. And that'll be okay. Search this house real quick. Well, there's some daylight. We are so heavy, dude. 99.88. Matches, I'll take that. Cabinet. Nothing. Drawer. What kind of boots are these? Trail boots? Don't need those. A simple parka. Could end up being useful. Uh, I got I gotta take that because I think that's gonna be good for one of our inner layers. Mm -hmm. Characters out of breath just even opening if this is any good to eat. Even just opening cabinets right now. We're so over encumbered. Is it food or oh, yeah. That's food. That's food too. Just because the cabinets aren't, uh, aren't fully shut doesn't mean you can't search them by peeking your head around. So always look for that too. Anything in the fridge? Fish? Hope I can still eat this. Ooh, so 2.2 pounds of venison. Don't mind if I do. Hundred six pounds, man. Our legs are about to break. We're gonna check upstairs. That'll come in handy. Leave it. I need that weighing us down. What was that? New sprint, okay. No guns under the bench? What is this, Canada? It's almost like you don't have guns up here. Ooh, work pants are pretty good. Those would be better than jeans for our second layer. I want to take those. Character is hating us right now. It's like, dude. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Come on. Let me drop some of this weight. What are you hoarding so much? Man, he's really gonna hate us because we're gonna take the water out of this too. Hope nobody needs this anymore. No, we don't need that either. Let's let's leave that water. We got water, we can boil some water. Uh, we need to go over and see if we can get into the gas station. Hey, nice. Nice decoy. Did you did you tag me in them? Might check those out in a second. I gotta get past the danger dog goes over here. 
that dog came just trotting right over. Here's one. There's two. We're gonna have to shoot one. You guys ready? Got him. Run away. No, you too? Okay, got the second one. Dude, stalker difficulty sucks. We're gonna have to harvest those wolves too. I just don't have the time right now. We don't have the mobility. That's the only reason I had to shoot the first one. Why'd the second one come over? Usually when you shoot one, they scatter like that last one. I had to waste two ammunition on that? Damn. Hey, give, me, give me a second. Decoy, we'll check it out. In the back of this fuel station. At least we, at least we ended up blasting them, you know? What's in here? Should be good for me. Water and trail boots. Okay. So if we're sorting by weight, I need to put all of that in here. All of these in here. We're still over encumbered. Put that in here. We need to put... Let's go and put those in here. Let's put that in here. Let's put the extra trail boots in here. We put all these in here. I don't even know why I picked those up to begin with. We got those. We're down at 73.93. Let's put that in there. That. 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 We have 54 rounds of revolver ammo. And I had to use rifle ammo on those sons of bitches. Just because they wouldn't back down. Then we're going to go harvest them. Which is going to suck even more. So we're going to harvest them out in the freezing cold. Let's put that in here. We're going we to take as much of this weight off of us as we possibly can. Extra socks. Extra gloves. We don't need those. That's the tomato soup. That's staying in here, too. The uh, marine flares, those are going in here. What else? We're at 64. Man. The uh, storm lantern's going in here, too. Now we're at 61. Good. Bedroll going in here. 59. Let's make sure we take that out before we go. Uh, again. 2.2 pounds of venison. That's going in here, too. We have to go and harvest these freaking wolves. Oh. Man, it's about the danger dogs. Put it in pets on the Discord. Do you mind if I show it on stream? Is that okay? It's okay? Good. Let's go ahead and try to see these doggos. Sorry, I was looking at a DM. Uh, pets channel on Discord. Aww. Decoy, that's you, Ingwe, right? Or Thor's? That's Thor's? They look similar. These dogs, your, your dog's like a mini version of that dog that was up, up top, on top. It's Thor's, right? It's a little potato. Look at this thing. Oh, it's a sleepy dog. I see the toe beans. I bet you my dog's doing the same thing. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. He didn't even look over here. Look at that little dog. He's got a mane on him, too. Look at that mane. It's like, eh. I'm chilling, but I'll roar like a lion. Redis the Fierce? That's awesome, man. It's a great dog. A very sleepy dog right there, too. Looks comfortable. Looks happy. Very happy. You need to watch out for the danger doggos, though. You understand. We're gonna go ahead and harvest a couple here. Now that I can actually move. Let's see. The crows are already circling around these dogs. I need to... Try and light a fire around them, and then harvest them. that it's the last thing we do we're gonna cook this this wolf meat but we're not gonna eat it we're just gonna cook it for our cooking skill hey chat 
Don't even. Man, why can't we find a revolver? Come over here, wolf. You'll add number three. We're gonna need so much firewood for all of these. Go ahead, make your move. Yeah, that was your move, huh? Great move. That's what the other two did. He should have listened to them. Should have listened to them. I'll try and get a little bit of a fire started here. And then we should find, you know what we should do? We should find a house with like a six burner stove and then cook it all in there. And I think, I think I know where there is one. It's up that way, I'm pretty sure. But to start, we need to harvest all the meat and then we'll cook it off. Unless we find the moose up here. If we find the moose, then after the wolves, we're doing the moose. Okay, that's the plan. That's what we're gonna do. Now, oh. are you wolves quite done? All three of you? Yes, okay. Can we all agree that I won that? Yep. Now. make a lot more sense if I put this next to a tree or something so it's not just out here magnifying glass hey we can actually use the magnifying glass good Let's start it up don't have to use a tinder or, or any matches that's where I'm at matches still need a tinder That wind seems like it's picking up though. Damn it. Turned out pretty well. I go all the sticks. Two hours twenty-seven. Hour twenty-four with the knife. go minute nine so we need to do now is try and chop this 45 minutes good we'll get some cedar firewood on that as long as it doesn't blow out Shoots. Temperature's going to go down so fast. Oh, and now we're now we're okay. Okay. Do have an accelerant. Let's do this. The wind died down again. Man, that that wind was trolling. That wind was trolling. Coming up eight minutes already. Find some place to escape this cold. It's fine. How's that? How's this thing that's on fire only 16 degrees Fahrenheit? Dude, that's below freezing. How? That's hot. That'll give us a warming up bonus. I need to skin this other wolf here. Now we can drink the rest of the water. Before this wolf freezes solid, we need to get the, uh, we need to get that wolf done. 54 minutes, 54 minutes. 
We should... I think with the warming up bonus, we should be okay to do this one. Yeah. We should be okay. Feels like night is coming. Okay, got it. Alright. So those are cooked. This is 26 minutes, so we can't really do anything with that. We need to go back over here if we want to do more cooking. We have half fatigue. And why those wolves have to come over here and out with me in the first place? They learned their lesson real quick, didn't they? Oh god. Oh no, that's a bear. That's the bear. Oh god, that's a freaking bear. I went the wrong way. Open the door! Oh! I didn't get in the gas station. I. Oh my god, that was a bear out there. I ran the opposite way. I ran towards the bear. Ah, that was a moose for a second. Woo! There are more winter survival games. I find them to be the best if done right. This is this is probably the best winter survival game you'll find. If you're looking for like a winter survival and city builder, then check out Frostpunk. But like this one. So Oh, good. Put the torch there. Burn the entire place down. We're going to sleep for like two hours? Four hours? Super close. I know, dude. That thing was barking at me and everything. I'm going to wait for like four hours. See if that bear is gone. Oh, the aurora is up too. Oh, no. The aurora is up. We're going to go cook some more of this wolf meat just to raise our cooking skill. What do I have? What do I have that's good for calories here? Let's see. Stuff that's not spoiling, right? And also not the canned food, because the canned food you can heat up. And it'll give you a heat bonus. So we'll just get rid of all these candy bars we've been finding. And the salty crackers. Yeah, that that bear is not gonna run away if you uh, throw a torch at it either. <laughs> you gotta shoot that thing and shoot to kill. Maybe you gotta take that on. All right, perfect. Let's get the rest of our water here. There should be more water in here too. But man, I'm carrying so much stuff. I need to put all these hides and guts down. That's probably why the bear found us. I got so many hides and guts on me right now. I don't want to store them in here. <laughs> I'm nervous to go outside. We're going to do it. Are you a fan of Frostpunk? I, don't know, I just couldn't get the hang of it. It's, it's more of a city boulder than our survival game, though. It is set in uh, wintertime, right? No way, dude. No freaking way. Not happening. There are more wolves over here now. There are even more wolves. How? How? We're going up. We're going upstairs. I am sleeping the rest of the night. What is up with that? I just killed three of their friends. And they're still outside. I just need to get that gas station. That's it. I'm gonna have to kill one more. You run away? Good. Don't tell me you turn him back around. We made it. Whew. 
we made it into the gas station. Thank God. It's a computer. What does it say? A buffer memory added to journal. Take a truck. Finally made it down here from up island. Wasn't our regular driver rather some guy? They drafted into the job at the refinery. Sounds like. Couldn't say when the next trip down would be? Doesn't seem too bad, seeing as we don't get too many passing through these days. Bothers me more that the refinery is having trouble filling their orders. Can't imagine propane and heating oil are in good shape if they can't even ship out their gasoline on time. Even with more and more electric cars making their way out here, finally we still need that delivery. Barbara Quincy. Alright. You can only you can only read these, by the way, when the aurora is going off up 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 top in the in the night sky. So enjoy that. Also, chat, I need to take a second to use the restroom. I'll be back in just a minute. Nice steaks, loose. I, I do need to cook some steaks up, don't I? Our fatigue is not down at all, so we can start a fire. Not with a magnifying glass, but we can put a cedar firewood in here. Is that the, that's the only fuel that I have though, hang on. Ooh, the bedroll, cardboard box. It's gonna be something wood in here I can break down with my hands. So we go out and chop some logs. Metal shelf. It's a crate. It's another whetstone. I break this down with my hands. An hour and an hour thirty minutes. Forty-five with the hatch. Let's go ahead and do the hatch then. I'll save us a little time. All right. And uh, dude, this this spray paint, man, it's, it's it's freaking all over the place. I don't ever use it. Why is there so much spray paint in the game? Okay. We'll explore this as soon as I finish. Toss that book in there too. The cooking though. We, the cooking? Look at all the steak that I have to cook. The wolf meat. We, we need to find... We need to find... This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I know, I know. We're at 99 again. We need to find a place that has like a six burner stove. So why don't we do this? Why don't we sleep a couple of hours? And I think there's a place that has a stove like that. Because this place only has a single burner fire barrel. I think you can cook two, two things at a time on this fire barrel. What we need to do... What we need to do is get the hell out of here. We have some wood on us. That's fine. Can go ahead and drink the coffee. It's not going to be hot, but it'll still give us a uh, fatigue reduction. Oh, man, dude. I don't want to run into that bear again out here. I do not want to run into that bear. Which 
right outside. Damn, and we got a... And we got a storm. It's gotta be over here, right? This house. Tell me this one has a six burner stove. Please. And there's a log outside too, if it is. So no zombie bears from, oh my God, the, zo the zombie bears? So we have a wood fire stove. That's a fireplace, dude. That's two cooking slots. I thought this was the one. We're just gonna have to cook on the fireplace then. That's, I mean, that's it. Well, let's make another campfire in here. What was that fireplace? Dang, dude. There's only a few places I know that have a six burner stove and I, I feel like one of them's over here. Let's take the charcoal. We can't map indoors. We can't map outdoors either because it's inclement weather. Let's do this, do that, do that. All right. So we have cedar firewood and reclaimed wood. That should last for a while. Success chance is 55% on each one of these. Let's start it up. Uh, have you played any of the King Arthur strategy games lately? It might be cool to play it here on YouTube. Oblore, I played uh, King Arthur Knight's Tale on Twitch. And we were averaging 45 viewers. I played that game and we averaged just 22 viewers the first night. The it. second night we averaged 9 viewers. And the night after that we averaged 3 viewers. People just don't, they, they don't like turn-based strategies on Twitch. I don't know why. I love turn-based strategies. But that was the last one that I played. And it just, it did not, it did not speak to the, uh, the people who were, who were watching, you know? And that's, that's just how it goes sometimes, man. Like I said, I, I love playing them. Food or and how I'd love to. King Arthur Knight's Tale is the uh, is the last one that I played though, and I still haven't finished it either. It reminds me of one of my favorite games growing up, and maybe somebody in chat knows this game. Ogre Battle sixty four. That's a turn based strategy game. I absolutely loved playing that game when I was growing up, and. Man, King Arthur Knight's Tale, it brought back that nostalgia that I felt in playing Ogre Battle 64 when I was growing up. Hope I can still eat this. I'll set you in the moment. It was a Saturday. We had just played a, uh, a U14, means youth 14 and under, soccer game. And we actually won the game against Piney Green. We were playing, I was playing for the Swansboro team. We were playing against Piney Green and we beat them. I wonder if this is any good to eat. Moldy venison raw. I can go ahead and take that and try and cook it if I can. And we won. You know what? We got Taco Bell and my mom actually let me rent a game from this local place. It wasn't even a blockbuster. It wasn't any any kind of those places you would regularly rent a video game. I rented a game and a movie because we won the soccer game and it was awesome. And I think I got a chicken quesadilla and went home and watched the movie. I played that game, dude, and I loved it so much. You know what? The next weekend, played a soccer game on the weekend, lost. Next weekend after that, played a soccer game, lost. Played. The next weekend we played against Havelock and Havelock always had the worst team. And they, I remember they had these bright ass purple jerseys too. They always had the, I think we beat them 10-0. They were just a horrible. And we won. And guess what? I got to go back to this place in this little strip mall and rent that same game again. Didn't have the money to buy it, but I could rent it twice. Ogre Battle 64, dude. And I started from square one the second time I had it. Such a good game, man. If I could find a way to emulate that game and play it on stream, fully like legal, 
I totally would. I would I would love to do that. 0.5. What is this one? 2.2 pounds. What's the uh I have so many of these in here too. We gotta cook so many. Moldy venison. That's the other one I wanna cook. Yeah, Bloor. That's what I'm saying, man. I like the Age of Empires, but I don't know if that's considered to be a turn based strategy or a real time strategy. I love playing. Uh, hang on one sec. Close that. Um, I, I love. I grew up also playing Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate. And those are, you could consider them real-time strategies, but you can also pause them anytime you want and just set up your attacks and have them do that. And once they send their attacks out, you can pause again. You can pretty much pause anytime you want in those games. So is that is that kind of the line that you're thinking of too? Of whether or not it's uh, turn-based or a real-time strategy? Cause I, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to level up my, my cooking here. Loving War Tales right now? Oh, War, War Tales. I think I watched uh, Sequisha play War Tales a little bit. I like, uh, Sequisha is the one that, that turned me on to uh, King Arthur Knight's Tale, man. I just wish, like Sequisha had 2,300 people watching them play King Arthur Knight's Tale. And I had three <laughs> at the end of uh, three days. So I don't know. It just, to me, it, it spoke volumes on Twitch does not want you to play turn-based strategy games. So I kind of learned that lesson. Maybe that wasn't the right lesson to learn, but you know, that's how I took it. These are all 2.2. .2. There's a 1.6, 37 and 24. Let's do this one. Doesn't really matter if these burn either. Ah, uh, we need water. Let's do that. And what time is it either? We gotta see how much time is left on this. Two hours twenty-two. We're at four thirty-three. Okay. So what we have to do. We have to cook the rest of this wolf meat. God, there's so much of it too. These freaking wolves should have learned their lesson not to attack me. I'm gonna cook all this meat, dude. I gotta find like a storage or something to put the. There we go, covered. We'll put. Because that that wolf meat we're not gonna be able to eat. That wolf meat is gonna have trichinosis. The gamey venison should be okay though. Hang on, because the venison is not a carnivore. So we can go ahead and eat that. Wherever it is. Hang on. Give me medicine. Cooked. Yeah, eat that. Get all of our calories up. Now. I still have more wolf meat I need to put in here. Where's our cooked? There it is. Cooked. Cooked. I didn't drop this at the... Oh, I didn't drop that at the gas station. Invest and cook, that's fine too. Alright, keep an eye on this. 4 hours, 17, 56 minutes. I might be able to chop a tree out here. Let me try and chop. It might just happen. Yeah. 45, good. Let's do it. That should be almost cooked inside. Temperature went way down. Some minutes. That's still 328. Wow, we don't even have to add much. Uh, don't have to add anything really. Take that. Take that. I need Keep to cooking. drop something. I know we got to drop some stuff, man. We're just leveling up our cooking right now. Calm down. Calm down. We're cooking the wolf meat. It's moldy. We'll cook the mold right off of it, chat. R right off. You won't even notice. And we'll scrape it off, and we'll. Put it on top later as a garnish. Add some green. Were you ever into the Final Fantasy games growing up? I, I tried to. 
Uh, the only one that I ever played was Final Fantasy Tactics. Speaking of turn-based strategy games, Final Fantasy Tactics came out, and I had a Game Boy Advance SP. This is, like, later in my life. This is probably when I was, like, in late high school. And uh, I had a Game Boy Advance SP. And so I watched it then. Let's add one more. Let's add one of those. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I never played the, I've never really played the RPG version of it, the MMO version of it. Let's search the rest of the house, too, while these are cooking. But I've heard, dude, that is something, if I, if I didn't have to worry about the games that I streamed or anything like that, one of them that I would play would probably be all the Witcher games all the way through, especially Witcher 3. If I didn't have to worry about like money and streaming to actually like make a living or anything like that, I would totally stream all the Final Fantasy games all the way through. I would stream all the games of my childhood that I missed. And you know what? If I didn't have to worry about like DMCA or anything like that, we would also watch every single episode of Dragon Ball Z from start to finish. And every episode of Pokemon from start to finish. Because I never watched, I've, I've never, I've still, in my adult life, I've never watched a single episode of Dragon Ball Z. And that was so huge and so formative for a lot of my friends' childhood. And I'm like, how? It's, it's, it must have been like on cable, because I, I didn't have cable growing up. We grew up very poor. So I didn't have any cable. But Dragon Ball Z, we'd do a little watch party and watch that whole thing all the way through. And play all the Final Fantasy. Fresh coho salmon. Oh my god. That is great food right there. That is so good. That's so good. Oh, and lantern fuel. Hey, check this out. Now we have our lantern. Wow, is our lantern really down here? No, I dropped, I dropped it, didn't I? Oh, I got wolf pelts too. I need to run those over to the gas station, but man, I can't, I, can't, I can't leave this to cook. Hey, Chris, what's up, man? How's it going? Short answer, though, Oblore. Final Fantasy, I, I never got into those, man. I did not. Final Fantasy 14, I know, is probably one of the biggest games of, like, the 20s. Of the early 20s. People play the hell out of that. It's a huge one. But I, I never got into that either. Just waiting for some of this wolf meat to cook. 28, 29. Let's do that. Pass a little time. We're going to spend the entire day, it seems like, just uh, cooking down some of this wolf meat. I'm going to try and make a dash over here. While we're cooking that, it should still count as XP. This thing's going to be... Somebody's going to come over here and find, like, all this rotten wolf meat. After we uh, throw it in there. And they're going to be like, Ugh! What the hell? Who dropped all this rotten-ass wolf meat in here? What is that? Oh, that's a clothesline. No... Why are there so many wolves, dude? Bro, I'm, I am hating these wolves. They're everywhere. Dude, I played, I played stalker difficulty. That's why there's so many wolves. Damn it. All right, well, I found a couple more sticks. There you go. Three hours, 20. Damn. Ah. <sighs> Decoy says, do you like Star Wars? Like, have you played Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor? Never played a Star Wars game. I think, I, oh, I take that back. I think I played uh, a Star Wars game for about 35 minutes. It was free to play, and uh, my buddy Bruce Cooper was playing, and my other buddy uh, Rob Strange McNamara was playing. So I, I think I played it for like 35 minutes. Uh, I don't think I was streaming at the time. But they, they got the game, it was one of them, and it was like a multiplayer, and I didn't know what was going on, and I, it was just, it seemed like every other FPS was going on. 
I do like Star Wars, though. If you talk about the movies, I feel like if there's, if there's any franchise on Earth that is milked more than any other one, it is Star Wars. They try and make games out of it. They try and make sequels that don't work. They try and just do whatever they can to make extra, extra money. Go. That's just, that's just like my opinion, man. Here's our last wolf meat, too. Good. Now. Water. This game gives you camping vibes. Uh, minus the wolves and things that can kill you. Camping is an amazing thing. It is, Chris. Yeah, it is. Totally is. I think there's oh, oh there's a oh, there's a hoodie here. I don't think I need the hoodie. The hoodie was important in Sons of the Forest. I didn't even see that on the bed. I'm just double checking, make sure I didn't miss anything here. We got the uh, all the water out of the toilet too. We're drinking toilet water, man. That's what level we're on right now. We searched all this stuff. I thought this house was two stories, but it's not. These wolves had to learn. I had to learn now. Can I check here on my character and find some skills? Can I find skills? Yeah, skills. So cooking, we're at level two. Level two. We're we killed those wolves and we're cooking all the meat. We're gonna try and get this up to like level five. If I can. Maybe find a cooking skill book or something like that. Speaking of which, do I have any more books? I don't know if I do. I... I uh, don't think I do. Let's go ahead and harvest this. While we're waiting. Might as well. And the other one. Some... Harvest that. This is like Battlefront. It might have been Battlefront, yeah. It's more single player... Campaigns. Yeah, I'm just. I, I haven't seen. I think the last Star Wars movie I saw was like episode two, and that was like probably close to 10 years ago, man. I don't, I don't know if I can relate to the Star Wars stuff anymore. Especially since like Disney owns it now, and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Disney. I try and stay away from anything they do just out of principle. And harvest these two ten minutes. That's fine. And the sun should be going down. Be able to rest, pass some time, rest, and check out the entire shop over there too. If we can just get to the shop, that'd be nice. Eight minutes, nine minutes. Let's go ahead and skip that ahead. Do that. Do that. And we still have carry. one hour and nine. So you know what we could do. Oh, I don't know if we can though. Hang on. If we do water, this one. Select. If we do a a two six, we might be able to do that. Yeah. That. And then that. Then take the extra water. Good. Pick that up. Can't take a torch from that, but we're ready to go. Back to the gas station. We're just going. Don't care about the wolves or anything. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. We got a lot to search. I'm gonna search that truck. Okay. We're gonna pick up everything in here and then we're gonna sort it out into the uh, into the lockers. We have one locker, there's another lantern. Let's go ahead and search this. A lot of cabinets to search too. And would we would we kill four wo four wolves so far? Three wolves? We gotta try and find the pistol bond driver. Try to. I don't know if it's gonna be in here, if it's gonna be in one of the houses outside, man. But this is our. I'm not our sure I can carry much more. Home base. 
I see a note right there too. A three? It was three wolves, yeah. A note left behind. <clears throat> Two more joined us today. Seems their horse couldn't go any further. One of them's called Sean. He's from Ireland. Not quite home, but close enough. Apparently he came here as an acting career. Best thing though, is he's got a big bag of fruit pastilles. He's gonna just share with me. Probably for the best since everybody's so paranoid. The other idiots would probably think he was trying to poison them. Ha, <laughs> that'd be safer this far north. Less people and all. Maybe I should leave? I don't know, dude. I love you should leave. I'm reading your note after the fact. Three wolves. There's a fourth wolf and a single bear. That's right. That's right. That's right. I need to break down this cardboard box, man. Having that right by my head, dude. Why is that cardboard box right by your head? Search that. Locker. I think I can use this. Pry open locker. Pistol? Ah, oh, not quite. Okay. So this. Sort by weight. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move that in there. These we need to drop. That's fine. That's fine. Storm lantern goes in. Give me wolf meat. That's full. So put that in this locker instead. Give me wolf meat. Wolf meat. Wolf meat. Wolf meat. Okay. We can search more out here while well, there's some daylight. Good. Thank goodness. Oh, we got another hatchet. Okay. We don't need it. We need a pistol. I mean, I would I would rather have the rifle and no pistol than a pistol and no rifle. But uh, hey, I'm just hey, I'm I'm thankful for what I do have, you know. All right. One thing we could do if the sun's going down, man. Sure, he can. Let's take that. Take that. We're gonna sort all this stuff up. There's also a hacksaw here. That could work to break down another lantern, though. The other lantern we don't need. We can turn that into fuel if we want to. Let's get scrap metal for some stuff. I feel like there's a um, a furnace nearby. Workbench. Got a first aid kit. Wonder if this is any energy bar, eat. antiseptic. Good. 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 Yeah, the sun's going down. I can't even see what I'm harvesting here. It's way darker on my screen, chat. I've got you guys. You got a game of plus 10%, by the way. Some of the games I play are dark. And when I play games that are kind of bright, you understand why they're extra bright. Now, let's turn that on. All right. We're going we're gonna to take ourselves a little uh, sleep rooski bedroll here that I don't want to mess with but I will take that cardboard box and I'll take this cardboard box all right yeah look at that a freaking fire strike was under that cardboard box you kidding me anything also down here fire strikers are awesome all right let's sleep for a thousand hours let's do it I think the uh, oh, I think the aurora was up for a sec. Mouth so dry. Didn't last long though, did it? Yeah, rose hip tea. I don't have any herbal tea yet. Funny how we haven't seen that. It's just squeaking in here. What do we have for food? Ketchup chips. Good. Do you guys think it's a good idea to uh to live stream this or should I just like should I just stream this whenever and, th and then just move the videos over to YouTube?
because the live streaming is great like people can you can talk in chat and uh you know i'll as soon as i see it chat's pretty slow so as soon as i see it i'll get right back to you and uh and answer any questions you might have but i don't, I don't know if this is um it's, it's probably just because it's youtube not a lot of people tune in for live streams on youtube that's okay that's all right it's past time for two hours we'll try and sleep for two hours and we'll try and get that sun to come up how about that you watch anyway decoy well, i appreciate that man let's try and past time for one more hour and then i think this is going to be three hours of sleeping here that'll be good it's I, I you know what you know what it is it's it's coming from twitch over to youtube and doing a live stream on twitch where we ended having 83 people watching and then we're over on youtube and we have three people watching that that's honestly the difference that's the difference We'll get there. We'll see. How is the the sun the sun icon is should be coming up, right? Maybe I can do some uh some crafting. Hang on, let me see what I can do here. A bandage? I don't think we need a bandage. Fast head wrap, you don't need that. Tinder plugs. Out of a stack of paper? Ten minutes? We'll do that. We'll do that. I just don't think people come to YouTube for live streams, man. I think they they come here for videos they can watch and like skip forward and backwards through. Like if there was if I was if I was watching YouTube right now, I'd be like, dude, I don't want to see him just passing time. I don't want to see him just like dicking around. I want to see him like in in the actual survival content. Let's search the rest of the shop. Let's go. And now here we are. They would have skipped forward like. Or whatever the two minutes it was i don't blame them i would have done the same thing so I, I really feel that youtube is a place where you just go and watch watch videos you don't watch live content over here maybe hopefully youtube will change that eventually oh we got there's so much stuff in here wood matches we got some Food here, we got a go energy drink, a sewing kit on the table. Let's go. Dog food. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Revol revolver cartridge. A shell casing. Somebody fired a uh somebody fired their rifle back here behind the counter. I wonder who that was. Like a lot of people that watch live streams on YouTube, but it takes a while from what I've seen. Or they do both like a uh, YouTube watch, which is four days a week and does lower videos for the weekend. Yeah. So it's uh, it's, it's about building the channel, right? You have to, have to have a mix of content that people can go back and watch anytime they want. And hopefully if you have like a thousand subscribers, then you can actually make a little bit of money off the ad revenue, which is not a whole lot. You can potentially make a little bit off ad revenue from your uh, static static videos, not your non-live videos. It's like our last uh, our last stream, I put that one live right before I went live here today for this stream, and then this stream will be live next time we stream. Kind of makes sense, right? So every episode, I can barely walk with this much gear. Every episode is going to be going live when the new episode comes out. That way people can catch up if they missed anything. I'd prefer to have people in the live stream, but I'd also, you know, I don't I don't mind if people watch the uh, the VODs. That's fine too. Absolutely fine too. There's a little flashlight right here too. I'm gonna put that on this counter. And that is the Wilderness Kitchen. That's our cooking book. Damn, we should have got that cooking book. First candy bar on the shelf, candy bar on the shelf. We still, I think we're still going to have a little bit to cook here. I'm trying to think of where we go next. Where do we go next? 
after this, right? Like, on that box. There's nothing under that box. I wonder if there's anything under this box. No, nothing under there either. Shoot. Well, we got a ton of soda. Another soda right there too, is it? It's an empty can. Yeah, empty can. All right, we searched the whole gas station. We found a bunch of stuff. Now, at the, at the end of the day, Twitch is king for live content until they shoot themselves in the foot, which is happening right now. And then you've got, you've got Kick, you've got Rumble, you've got YouTube. They all can host live platforms. You've got Facebook. I always forget about Facebook because I don't care about Facebook. Those are all of your horizontal format streaming platforms. And then you have TikTok if you want to appeal to like the uh, eight year olds to 12 year old demographic as the majority, which is not an interest to me. Thank you, but no thank you. I will stay absolutely as far away from those little weasels as, as far as I can. Not interested in that kind of community. But for me at least, Twitch is, Twitch is still king on live streaming until like the end of the month, man. I really wish it didn't have to come to this, but they are just making it so, so difficult for anybody to even contemplate staying over there. What is, that's a, just a recycled can. So we'll do that. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what is here. We're, we're so over encumbered right now. We can't even like sprint at all. So we have food that we need to take. We have anything else in here we need to take out. More food we need to take out. Those flares we can take as well. Oh, dropping the freaking, hang on. This should save up some weight right here. Let's go ahead and drop that, drop that. Where are the guts? I'm gonna drop the guts too. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just not into, um, catering to children, man. It's not a children's channel at all. The spray paint, too. We need to store that in one of the lockers. Or do you like indie game vids? Do a series of vids on Monbazoo as far as uh, tips and tricks and how to and stream what you're playing at the same time. You read my mind, man. I'm working on that right now. I wish I could I wish I could snap my fingers and make that happen but I have 205 hours of mom bazoo content that I have to scroll through and try and pull out videos video edit I, I can't afford dude I can't afford to hire an editor so I do all that stuff myself and that 205 hours that's all when I'm live streaming so just just straight down to earth man the time that I'm not streaming, I'm sleeping right now. And the time that I'm not sleeping, I'm streaming. I wish it was, I wish it was as easy as, yeah, I'll just upload the uh, Mom Bazoo VODs and that'll get a billion views. But no, it takes time after time after time. There's a uh, decoy. There was, do you know a game? It's called Hunter Call of the Wild. Do you, have you heard of that game before? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the spray paint. We don't need that. Get rid of the book. If you've heard about that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right now. Scrap metal. Have you heard of that game? Get rid of two flares. Still at 92 pounds. Scrap metal again. What is so heavy here? Oh, a freaking cherry can. 6.71 pounds. Let's put that in there, too. I haven't played it personally, but I heard it was good. So, we also need to eat this. It's 5.36 pounds of fish. You have an extra hatchet. That hatch is going in here. And these are all going in here. Uh, same with this extra firewood. And the hacksaw. And the simple tools. And 10 of these plugs. Not 12. 
All right, getting that weight down. So Hunter Call of the Wild, I put about 350 hours into that over the course of, I'd say four months, man. And that's a lot, that's a lot of time. It's a lot of time, might've even, 350 hours, yeah, over, dude, I would say, I would say, if I look at my Twitch right now, we streamed 296 hours in the last 30 days so that 350 hours was probably over two months on hunter call of the wild because i remember that i was doing just only eight hour streams i wasn't doing 10 12 15 hour streams and i did a zero to 60 it's on this youtube channel too if you're if you're listening back and you're like well i'm i'm just sleeping right now because you uh, you're boring me we're not finding any long dark content right now listen That's fine. That's okay. I also have other content on the stream too. If you want to check it out, you can. You don't have to. Most people don't. But if you want to, you can. I won't force you. 350 hours of streaming. Probably in two months. Month and a half, two months. We're doing the 0 to 60 challenge. And I put together, I think it's 23 videos on a playlist. And I shrunk each one of those eight hour streams down into like a 10 or a 15 minute video, just highlighting every single stream that I had. An eight hour stream condensed into a 10 or 15 minute video, just all highlights the entire time when I'm shooting game and getting those level ups. And if I had a, a near miss or anything like that, all the way through until we either did or did not finish the challenge. And that's on, uh, that's on YouTube as well. That's a uh, playlist that we have. The 0-60 zero, zero Missed Shots Challenge. Essentially, in Hunter Call of the Wild, you start at level 0, max level 60, you, sh you hunt animals and you shoot at them. And for me, if I missed a single shot, I would have to reset my character back to level 0 and try and get level 60 again. It took me 13 attempts. And I, as far as I know, I'm still the only person that's ever f completed that challenge. And that challenge... The videos and the time that I took and put into that, those videos average, I think, 18 views per video. That came out last year. Over one entire year, still 18 views on those videos. People don't care, man. They don't care. You gotta find you gotta find something else. I don't know the point that I was getting at with all that, but man, you you just you, you really have to find what people are interested in and what people actually want to watch. So that's why I guess it was from Mamba Zoo, right? I can't just put up the live streams and just post them over there because we stream sometimes Mamba Zoo for like 15 hours in a row. There's a lot of dead time there. People have very low attention spans, right? Especially when they're watching on YouTube. You got to make sure they're peak their interest every single time. You wonder why I don't stop talking when I'm on my stream because I don't want to lose interest. People get bored, but there's always something to hear. You know what I mean? There's always something going on. When somebody tunes into a live stream and they're like, oh, this guy's not even talking. He's just playing a game. And I could be doing that same thing and they're not even making any commentary on it. Dude, that's boring as hell. I've been there. Dude, when I, st when I started watching, trying to watch Elite Dangerous, there were people playing Elite Dangerous. They were just playing the game, dude. No camera. They weren't even making any commentary on the game either. And I'm sure people are like, oh, dude, dumbass. You're, you're not playing Elite Dangerous. You're playing Long Dark. Don't comment on Elite Dangerous. Comment on this game, man. I tuned in to see you play. I uh, tuned in to play. Watch you uh, do Long Dark Survival. Just t talk about that, and I will in a second. But I want to get my point. It's uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. All right. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And if you doubt me, try and do it. Do it, man. Why not? If you doubt me, try and do it. See, see how far you get. That's the best thing you can do. That's not like trying to be condescending or anything like that. That's just saying literally, if you don't understand how hard it is, the best way to understand how hard it is is just to do it yourself. Let's go ahead and get these guts spaced out so I can get an inventory on them. Let's get the pelts. I'm going to move them down here. So we get a little space, right? We'll try and tessellate them a little bit if I can. There we go. 
I got a couple more guts rather. Those all in a line. And good. Yeah, they're two percent, one percent. It's all those wolves that we just messed with. Well, the wolves that messed with us. Let's go ahead. Got a little bit of daylight left. I think I have a house or two more to search over here, I think. For sure. No, no, no. Decoy, you're dude, dude, you're fine. You're fine. I just I just got uh I I got him to a point in my explanation of it that I was like, I can't say this without saying that. It's n nothing that you said, man. I you're you're absolutely fine. That wasn't that wasn't even like God. Here's the other thing. Fucking other thing too. Is like I'm not always just talking to the person that says the thing. When you when you stream, you're also like there could be like 50 other people listening or a thousand other people listening. So when I say this, it's not exactly towards the person who said the original thing. It's towards that person and also the potential other thousand people who could be listening to it, right? I know it. I know we probably only have like two people here right now, but still people are this VOD is going to go live and people are going to be hearing this back. So I wanted to make sense to them too. So it's not just like you and me talking right now. It's also me getting the thoughts out for people who are also like watching this back and in my same, I, I think too fast for what my mouth does. It's also trying to explain to people who are watching this in the future. If they're watching this VOD, if they're interested in Long Dark, and they're like, man, he didn't answer that question very well, did he? That person was just asking about this and that and that and that. And I'm trying to hypothesize about how, what they're going to ask and what things they're going to try and understand and ask themselves as well. So I can explain that in such, an, such, a, such an extended way. That there's no doubt because they're not here on the live stream. And I wish they were because, man, that would make it easy. But they're watching it at a later date and they're like, man, he didn't explain that. And he sounds like an asshole right now. But I am to a certain extent because you're not here live. So take that. Nah, dude, you, you're absolutely fine, decoy. You're absolutely fine, man. I'm just, I'm just thinking around in circles, man. This is nothing you said at all. Nothing you said at all, man. Don't, don't feel bad at all. And don't, don't let that keep you from asking questions or, or commenting on things either. By all means. Knights! What's up, knights? Long time no see. How you been? How you been? It is good to see ya. Let's go ahead and keep getting into this game. I finally got I finally got all that garbage like sorted out, man. And now we're here to go ahead and search a couple more houses. See, here's the here's the other half of it, right? It's like people they're like, oh, this guy's just sorting stuff out and it's boring. Is this any better? You know, searching cabinets? This is probably like the the gambling, the gambling spike that we all have, like in our in our brains. They're like, oh, searching a cabinet is gonna find something. What is it? Oh, nothing on that one. Oh, 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 let's roll the dice again. Nothing there. What's it gonna be? Hit me. Nothing. Damn, we crapped out. Anything in the microwave? Oh, but we got a tomato soup on the counter, so that's fine. It's like checking all of these things. Really? It gets into that, that, that kind of gambling mindset, too, to a certain extent. It kind of does. I don't know, I'd love to hear arguments whether it is or isn't. But dude, are you gonna find something in that? No. Nope. Any clothing? Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Are we gonna find are we gonna find climbing socks in here? Are we gonna find climbing socks? That would be great. Right here. One of these drawers. Come on, climbing socks. Come on, climbing socks. Oh, nothing there. Come on, climbing socks. No! Nothing there. Come on, climbing socks! Damn! We crapped out. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh! Use this. Ah, thin wool sweater. Now we can keep that in the drawer. Don't need that weighing us down. Shoot. We're looking for upgrades, man. Nothing on the bed. Nothing on that side either that I can see. Ooh. You can take some toilet water too, right? How much water do we have? 0.67 gallons. That's still quite a bit of water. We can take the 0.46. We'll take that and we'll move it back to the gas station and then we'll just drop it on the floor because we also have some soda. We got to go out to, we go out to that, uh, that cabin on the lake too. Is it? Oh, it's midday. We might be able to make it. 
You guys want to you, you guys want to go over to the cabin? Type 3 in chat if you want to try and go to the mid lake cabin. Type 4 if you want to just hold tight. 3 if you want to go on the adventure out to the ice and 4 if you want to uh if you want to just hang back. You let me know in chat. Go ahead, type it in there if you want to. And I'm going to put some stuff down and then we'll see what numbers we see in chat. Three to go out for the adventure and four if we just hang tight and hold back. Let's see, go ahead and drop maybe half of this. Give us some carry weight in case we do go on the adventure. Let's go ahead and take the storage cabinet here. We're at 9.31. And we will look over there in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and put two of these back in, transfer that. What else do we have? We're going to eat that real quick. Cloth. I don't need any cloth. I'm gonna transfer that over. Pick the peaches. We're gonna go ahead and store the 73 right there. Hold in this kitchen. We're gonna store in here. I see a three, 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 three. You guys wanna go on an adventure? Let's go on a freaking adventure then. Let's go. Thank you, chat. Appreciate that. No need to go energies. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm just lightening up for the load because we're gonna bring everything back if we can. That's going in. Magnifying lens going in here too. That's going in here. Fire striker we're taking. Office cleaning kit right there. So oh my god, how many sewing kits do we have? West stones. Uh, we have tons of West stones. All right, let's let's go. If you're ready, Woo, it's midday. Let's go, baby. We can go ahead and do this. Drink, drink. Good. Decoy, Chris, Knights, and Mod Driver. All saying three. Let's freaking go then. We can go out to that cabin. See what we can find. We might even get some ice fishing done too. We're taking this with us. Still don't have a revolver, but hey, we might find one out here. That's what that's what I'm hoping at least. That we'll find one out here. How what's our uh, carry weight? 59. Okay, good. I know how many sticks I can pick up now. I'm not gonna check these. We'll check these on the way back. If anything, we gotta get across the ice first, and we definitely need sticks. So we get over there. And there's no sticks. We're gonna be snafu'd. We're gonna be foobard. That should be straight ahead right here. Oh, come on. That's a wolf. Go away, wolf. Wolf's over there. I don't know why it's going that way. I'm gonna pass him on this backside. Two big islands. There's one right here. You actually see more of the island when you turn your when you aim your view down. You see more of the island. If I look at it right here, see how we can't see anything? See when I look down? You can see it at the top of the screen. So this is number one. I really hope we don't run into the bear though. We gotta check this little ice fishing cabin right here too. And see if there's a revolver in there. There should be a house on this one. There should be a house on the other one too. The other one is that way I think, but I see another wolf on the ice. Why are the wolves on the ice? I don't know. Oh, that's actually a deer. It's a deer on the ice. Shoot, okay. We got pork and beans. We got the frozen angler for fishing skill level, good. That's fine, that's fine. Yep. And that. Uh, Wonder if this is any Oh, okay. Got the energy bar. Revolve the cartridge, okay. Let's go this way. We're trying to get to the top. You can see the house at the very top. I just hear a seagull noise? I didn't know they had seagull noise in this game. I know they had the crows, but I thought that was... I thought that was it. Here's our adventure, by the way. We dodged a wolf. We're going to both of these. I need to stop sprinting, dude. We don't... Oh my god, there's the bear. Should we try and kill the bear, chat? <laughs> I don't think we should, dude. Oh my god, he's coming over here, though. He's coming over here. <sighs> uh, 
That's a bear. That's a bear. Can I shoot him through the, the thing? Oh man, I wonder if I can. If I can shoot him through the thing without him attacking me. I won't be able to take him out. Why did I go to this fishing cabinet? I have never seen this aviator cap before in the game. Operating the frozen north stylish to a point. It doesn't have any points on it at all. It's rounded. It's that bear is right there. Oh, that's bear chat. What do you think about the bear? Should we shoot at him? I think we should. I don't know. Oh my god, it hit the door. I can't shoot through the door. That was one wasted round. Oh god. Oh no. Close the door. <laughs> ran past ran past oh my god I almost didn't close the door how did he not come in here he's bleeding there he goes we gotta track this down we track him down there he goes I don't want to lose him no he came up here That's a lot of bear meat and bear hide we can get. I hear so many wolves though. All right, just in case. I have nine rounds left. There's this blood trail right here. Please tell me he dropped. That's what the heck is that? A mailbox. That might be that might be the dead bear. Oh God. Where'd this bear go? Don't tell me I lost this. Did it stop bleeding? No way. Where'd this bear go? You, you kidding me? Bro. I was following his blood trail. What? Wolf? You're dead too. What the hell? That bear should be... It's, I don't even see the blood trail for the bear anymore. What the... I, uh, we're we're going to have to just... Just gonna have to take the wolves for right now. Bruh. Where the hell did that bear go? If it was the moose, I would not rest until I found that moose. That bear has gotta be dead somewhere, right? There's the other wolf I killed. Drop any of this gear. I know, we're about to load up again. If that bear does come over here. Rifle casing, yeah, I forgot to pick those up. Every time I shoot, you gotta pick those up. Let's grab a hide and some get. It's gonna be an hour 28. Let's hope you don't freeze to death. 
Not too bad. I just, I'm still like floored at like how that, how the bear's blood trail went away and how we couldn't, how we couldn't follow it. Shot it twice. It was obviously hurt. It was yelling. I thought I heard it go down. Did you guys hear it go down? It sounded like it went and it went down. Didn't do the sound effect thing for you guys, but you know what I mean. Huh? We can go in this house again and get, get a fire and cook all this meat up. This wolf meat. I think we are, man. This is where I'm storing it anyway. Oh, man. The adventure cut a little bit short. We're going to pick right back up on that adventure as soon as we can. Because this is the area we got all that rancid wolf meat. We got to cook all this stuff now. So... Be prepared. Fire strike. We're not going to waste that fire strike. We're on this. I'm going to put a stick over here. Let's see if we can start it up for a while. Damn! Dude, I thought we killed that bear. Come on. We, we might have. I don't know. Maybe we'll find it in a little bit. But we got to cook this and get some rest and then go out Damn when there's um, daylight. We'll do that. Let's, let's just go ahead with this. Fire striker should help, right? It should help. I'm still so upset about that bear. There we go. Put that there. That coffee warm up. And we'll cook all this wolf meat. Because we're going to need some caffeine to help us through the night. Cooking all this. Yep. I'll help. We're at a quarter. We're at one quarter over here. Do you guys prefer with the uh, camera off for this game? I feel like the camera off for this game is a little bit better. So we might just keep the camera off. If you guys say you want the camera on, I'll put the camera on, but I feel like we're gonna keep the camera off. Let's take that, take that, and we'll go ahead and put some of this stuff down. 2.2. .2. Point two. Good, an hour eight. I'm gonna try and get another. Try and get another log out of here if I can. Ah, uh, it's a branch, branch. Are there any logs nearby? Oh my god, there's one. That's a branch. Got my hand. I'm just gonna have to do branches right now. Temperatures. Really dropping. Ten minutes of branch. And the daylight's also dropping too. Got a branch right here, but I know that the house is there, so let's aim ourselves that way. And do this. Mind uh either way? Is the screen up? Yeah it does. It does. For sure. I'll just, I'll just keep it off for now. Oh man, I can't I can't see anything right now. Ah, there we go. It's our fireplace. Warming up. In five minutes. Good. So yeah, we we do need these sticks. I'm gonna keep that going. A frozen angler though. I'm gonna try and read that book if we can. Try and read that book if we can. Let's take that. Cook. A little bit more wolf meat. What do we get? Two wolves here? A lot of wolves, man. 
I am telling you. One hour seven. Let me go here. Frozen angler for fishing. We'll use that and we'll take one hour to research. There we go. Good. Should be almost ready. Five minutes, seven minutes, six minutes. Good. Let's see what we have for drinking. One of these. Let's drink all of our soda pop. That'll be uh, hydration and calories for us, too. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. And this is all just trying to get our uh, cooking skill up. If we can, that's 1.16. Let's do two 2.2s. 2 a 2.2 is a conversion for United States units, some American units here. Let me see, is there is there like no moon outside or uh, or something like that? I don't even have my lantern with me, do I? So if that's there, our front door is right here. Trying to see if we can get more firewood. Not gonna happen, is it? Not gonna happen. We'll get a couple more sticks and we'll be fine. And we'll probably sleep in this uh, in this place. Need to close my eyes. That is not the door. This is the door. There we go. Yeah, because our character is tired. Get in there. Three minutes. I wonder. There's seven minutes there. That one should count. If we did. Uh, yeah, that one. Alright, 15. So we need to sleep somewhere. There should be a bed right here. Just take a torch from the fireplace, I guess. Yeah, there's the bed. Okay, we'll just throw that on the floor. No problem. And we'll sleep. It's not gonna burn the cabin down. It's fine. It's fine. We good. Fourteen days, twelve hours, twenty-two minutes. Have we now? It's a long time to survive, game. Very long time to survive. What do we have for food? Hi, Floki. Dog. Dog just came over here. Oh yeah, we're here absolutely fine. This, the salmon. So heavy. The heck we hanging on for that? To, hanging on to that for so long. We might be on... The mend and we can continue. Yes, we can continue our adventure chat. It feels it feels bad not having my camera up over here, but I can I can turn it off. You know, if you guys really don't wanna, if you really don't wanna have the camera on, I can I can just I can just keep it off. That's okay. That's fine. 
And oh, one thing before we leave the house. Hang on, go this way. And there's something in the cabinet. There's a surprise in this cabinet. What is it? Oh, it's rancid, rotten meat. Because we can't eat it because it has trigonosis in it. This cooked wolf meat. We're dropping in here. And we have two uncooked wolf meats that we're also going to be dropping. Dropping on the floor and uh, dropping on the floor and in here. This now. Aviator cap, yeah. We, okay. So four guts. And I think we don't we have hides too? We should have hides, yeah. Those we're gonna put those in the gas station. Then we're going on our trip. The adventure continues. Let's go. Come on, we got extra space. Let's go. All of our vitals are all the way up, chat. They are all the way up. Let's go. Let's get it. So here we have an area that we can do this. And we can get our gits and drop. Okay. I guess we'll just have to do them one at a time. Drop. Drop. And then drop. And then drop. And then drop. There we go. All right, let me just come out this other door and we're fine. How's our carry weight? 57.9. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, back to the adventure. Huh? We found... We, we hit a... We hit a bear. I thought for a second I heard the bear right behind me. We hit a bear and I don't think it died. If it did, we're going to find it later. That's a wolf on the ice over there. I need to get over here. We haven't searched these houses. We'll search them on the way back. I'll get a little bit of wood. In case we need to spend the night over there on the island. How about that? Yeah? A little bit of wood. There should be some sticks. This is a mailbox. Who the hell is delivering mail over here? We're going that way first. Early morning. We're not going to sprint. We're just going to walk. I'm going to go right over to this fishing shack. Isn't this where we saw the bear the first time? Huh? When we're going over here to this fishing shack? Because we went to that one. We came over here and we saw a freaking bear. I see two wolves that way. We're not even going to... We already searched that shack. We're going up to the top. Oh my god, there's a wolf in front of me too. I need a revolver, man. Give me a revolver so I can take care of these wolves, dude. I don't want to use the rifle ammo. Uh, what would you be getting in the mail way out here? I don't know, dude. A letter from your auntie? Saying happy birthday? I have, I have no idea. That's way up here, man. Delivery cost must be outstanding. Yeah, you gotta put like 20 stamps on that envelope. So many stamps. I'm just trying to get away from that wolf to my right right there. So I'm gonna run out to the side and then go up the hill and over to the right. That is about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to reach you about your extended warranty. Did you know you can pay us? $300 a month? For nothing? Because we want you to know that. What if that ever works? Oh my god, how is he up here? How did you get up here? Hang on. Here it comes. Got him. Damn it. I don't even think I'm gonna mess with that wolf, man. We... I need to get up to this cabin, dude. I ain't got time to be cooking this wolf. Or skinning this wolf. I got so much wolf hide and wolf bullcrap. 
He made me waste a revolver round. Oh, I got... Oh, sure, I should pick up the casing. I need to pick up the casing, chat. Hang on, before we go. He ran this way towards me. And then that way, and then around. And he died right here because he's a stupid dumb wolf. Where did I shoot him? I shot him from... Over here? No. Right here. There's the casing. Let's take that. So we can repack the bullet. Oh, man. That rifle ammo is not going to last us the whole time, man. Eventually, we're going to have to go melee on these wolves. I ain't got rifle ammo for days. Dude, I got, I got pistol ammo for days. It takes one single pistol shot in the right spot to kill a wolf. It takes about three shots from the from the rifle to drop a bear and probably six to drop a moose. I ain't got that kind of ammo to spare. Is that? What the heck is that out there? Those crates? I don't see what they were. All right, this is one island. The other island's right over there. There's some space in between. Let's search this one real fast and see if we have. Yeah, it's not even noon yet. Let's see if we have enough time to go over to the other one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Could end up being useful. Don't need that. Sure. Nothing. Under the bench, dude. Give me a revolver. 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 That's all I need, dude. That's really what we need right here on, on stalker difficulty, dude. Give us a revolver. This can be food stuff that we're looking for in the cabinets. We're gonna make it real quick. A giant kitchen. Okay, hmm? nothing up there. That's all right with me. wonder who owns this stuff. <laughs> you don't wonder who owns this stuff, dude. They're, they're long gone. They got out before we get out. That's all you need to know. Matches, yes. Let's take those. What is this door? That's a door to a cellar. Why can't why can't we ever open that? Oh, let's go upstairs. I'll take the cloth. Spray paint, get out of here. Nothing else there. Drawers. I hope nobody needs this anymore. I already have two plaid shirts on that I'm wearing. Why would I need a third? I can only wear two. Wool mittens. You have ski gloves. Those are fine. We can go through this real fast then, I guess. Go to the next one after this. What an adventure. Baseball cap you don't need. Tell me you have a revolver on the shelf or something or under the bed. Come on. On top there. It's very tough to see. Very tough to see. About in the bathroom. Well, this will come in handy. Oh, we don't need painkillers either. We could take all that water and just drink it. That fresh, delicious toilet water, man. Oh, so tasty, Chad. I can't help myself but drink it right now. Uh, 
Delicious. So good. All right. We're, we're just going to go on to the next one then. We have daylight. Let's go. We're going that way. Mm hmm. Some rabbits down here. We don't need rabbits. Rabbits are better than wolves, though. I'll tell you that right now. Oh man, we have a deer out there too. We have a couple of deer. That'd be great for food. How's our food doing? Our food's fine. Yeah. Look how much. Look how much dog food we have. I don't think you can actually heat dog food up, can you? I don't think so. We'll go ahead and take it. Alright. Now we'll check this fishing hut. If we ever get really low on food, we can definitely check a fishing hut. Because we have some fishing line and a fishing hook and everything like that. It's good. It's good. Unlimited supply of fish. Just takes some time. Time and patience. Let me check the house up here. We might be able to make it back to the... Oh, this is going to have a door on it. Pickled peaches. Good. Wood. Great. Nothing on that shelf. Nothing on that shelf. Nothing by the stove. Nothing in between the cracks. Cupboards now. Empty. Empty. And... Wow! F this place. All that for a pinnacle peaches? Get out of here. Be drunk. One pinnacle peaches in that entire little shack. Not even a fishing line or nothing. Not an extra hook, anything. Unreal, dude. What is this? Hang on. Hello? What are these? Oh, it's reclaimed wood. Really? And cloth? What is this? Don't tell me that's a freaking coffin. Cattail head. <gasps> oh, it's on thin ice right there. Oh my god. What is this? Lockers? Never would have thought to look here. I need that. A, a sweatshirt? Maybe I can. Maybe I can take it. I don't know. Another shoes. Okay. Dude, that ice started cracking. I almost freaked the hell out of We almost fell through. Almost. Almost only counts in, uh... Force grenades and hand shoes. up to the top pretty sure this is rabbit island right this one has yeah jack rabbit island has a lot of bunnies around it there's one right there oh my god just put it in a box great Let's search it while there's some daylight. Dude, the wolves are gonna kill all the, uh... The wolves are gonna kill all the rabbits over here, man. We got Jackrabbit Island when the wolves are killing everything. I had, to, I had to turn the camera back on. It doesn't feel like I'm streaming. I don't feel like there's anybody here. Maybe I have to get over that. I'm 
might have to get over that. Hope I can still eat this. Ah, oh, we heard it. Can't open her. Damn it. It's just like if I, dude, if I was to fall through the ice there. Oh, another cooking pot. Let's take that. I want to put it on the stove in here though. Just so it's not in the cabinet. It just, it makes for better. I don't know. Is there a stove in here? I researched all that stuff. There's the stove. So where do I have this cooking pot? There's a flare right there. We're going to take that. Cabinet. Might have to drop some gear. I know we're heavy. But the hang on. These spins, we're not gonna do that. Let's check up. Is there an upstairs? There might be. It's a bathroom. Nothing there. Sewing kit here. We got a ton of sewing kits, man. Play by plan, right? Sewing kits. And so we have 0.44 gallons of water in there. Dude, I wonder if you could add more water to the toilet. Would that make sense or would that be just weird? Hey, man. What have we here? I had some extra clean potable water. I <laughs> dumped it into your toilet. Suitcase. A sewing kit. Oh, we got a second uh, underwear. Hey, hey, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, finally. There we go. There we go. Should be nice and warm now. How's everything doing? Good, good. We could probably make it back to the gas station. How's our carry weight? 81.97. That's not too... Stuff will come in handy. Mm. Not too bad. We want to take this, but it's 4.4 pounds. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take it. All right. Damn, I haven't searched this yet. Hope I can still eat this. Oh, it's raw. Gordon Ramsay is raw. 29. We should try and uh, let's try and eat that right now if we can. We can't. Not on the yeah, because we're we're good on calories. We had to get back right now. It's a long. It is a long trek to get back. Don't even tell me there's a wolf right here. Don't even tell me. Nah, he's chasing rabbits. We're good. We're going all the way back to the gas station over here. Way over here. We have plenty of energy too. We're gonna run it. Not all the way. Some of the way. Dude, I was on thin ice over there. I almost panicked, man. I thought we were falling through. We did not. We were okay. We were fine. Momentum too. That was our first island. We're going right over here to the gas station. I think I see it. I think I see it. I see it. I should be able to see it though. It's over this way, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. We could check this fishing hut on the way too. More houses that way. 
What an adventure, man. You went from, uh... Or from Pleasant Valley all the way through the caves and over here to... What is this again? A highway. Over to the highway. Went the wrong way when we came in. Learned our lesson. Went the right way. Found the gas station. Almost killed a bear. Tons of wolves. Started shooting them. I shouldn't have shot them though. Should have just tried to make it to a house. So we need to reserve that ammo. Until we found the revolver. We found the revolver. I have 40 rounds. The uh, the rifle, I only have like 9 rounds left. We might find more of those. I don't know. Oh, we already looked in this one. What the hell? So that means... That we need to go over here. Yeah, and there's a wolf over there. God damn it. You better not come straight for me. I have like raw rabbit though. What is the um what is it here? Hang on. Controls for what? Controls. No, I need like key binds. Key bindings, yeah. Drop bait. What is that? Drop decoy is three. Three. So we're gonna have to use a rifle round on one of these dumb wolves. I'm seeing something very weird to the top right of the screen right now. Oh, it's just a texture detail for the power lines, never mind. I know we're tired, I know. Get that raw rabbit on me though. I don't want them coming over sniffing. There we go, there's the uh, gas station that's gonna be up over here. I could go ahead and search one of these houses too on the way as long as that wolf doesn't perturb me We'll be okay. I'm just gonna fall through the uh, ice it's like insta-death. It's not insta-death But all of your clothing gets soaked your temperature goes down to zero You essentially need to start a fire immediately or you get uh, Hypothermia if you get hypothermia, you're sick for a very long time until you can heal yourself from the hypothermia. It's just, it's bad news all over. So if you can avoid going through the ice at all, you should try and do that. But if you go through the ice, what you need to do is find a place that you can get out of the elements. That wolf saw me out of the elements and uh, just light a fire and take all of your clothes off and dry them by that fire. Just like drop them on the floor by that fire. That's um, one of the ways you can do it. Because you don't want those cold damp clothes on you either. That's gonna hurt your, it's gonna hurt your, hurt your temperature. Cold and wet, probably die if you don't dry off, yeah. So you fall through the ice. We've fallen through the ice once. Uh, it was out on the... No, twice. Twice in the same spot, by the way. Usually during the... Um, during the campaign, the story mode. And we fell through and all of our clothing got completely soaked. What we did is we started a fire. And we put as much like wood and sticks and things we could on that fire and we we let it last for like nine hours and i took off all the clothing that i had and i laid it on the ground next to the fire so it could dry out and we were warm because of the warmth of the fire and uh the other thing we did was we stayed hydrated we got our food all the way up we let the clothing dry out and it took a long time i think we slept in the sleeping bag which gave or the bedroll which gave us a bed warmth. And while that fire was going for nine hours, we slept for like six hours. By the time we woke up, our clothing was dried. We put that back on. And then uh it was it was okay. We made it out. But if you like if you go if you go to sleep with that cold, wet, damp clothing, like check if uh, I can do this. Or sorry, do this for C for clothing. 
I was just out in the snow. All my clothing's dry. Like wool, wool stays drier than fleece does, or things like that. Y you learn which clothing like dries out faster. But if you're outside, let me see. It's probably a clear condition right now. Yeah. If there's snow just kind of like falling down, that is essentially like a rain. If there is snow blowing horizontally, that is a, a storm. And you're going to get wet as well. You're going to get damp because that snow sticks to your clothing and your clothing is permeating out heat because of your body warmth, your body temperature. So that clothing's going to get damp from the outside in. So you got to make sure, even if it's like lightly snowing outside, that you try and dry off your clothing whenever you can. You can't just be outside forever. That's a lesson a lot of people learn. Hopefully that answered the question. It makes it makes a lot of sense too, man. They thought of almost everything in this game. It is really, really well thought out. We have an extra cooking pot, by the way. Put a lot, yeah, they put a lot of thought into this. One thing you don't realize that uh, that a lot of people don't realize. I mean, you realize it when you're playing the game, but you don't think about before you start playing the game is that uh, wind direction matters too. Did I pick up enough sticks to actually start this fire? Hang on. Wood matches, sticks, 25, yes. Sticks respawn, by the way. But one thing you don't think about in this game is wind direction. Wind direction will blow out your fire, but also when you're walking against the wind and the wind's blowing at you, you move a lot slower. When the wind's at your back and blowing ahead of you, you walk a lot faster. That's something else they figured into the game. That's awesome, man. So that is a, uh, that's a real thing that's in the game. Wind direction. We're gonna try and get two giant pots of water here. And I'm gonna add that book. The reclaimed wood and uh, all the sticks. Okay. So we're gonna try and read this frozen angler book. And I'm gonna go ahead and do water here, cooking pot, all the way. And the other spot, water, cooking pot, all the way. Good, 59 minutes, one hour. So that's gonna be two hours, which means. I can do this, and I can do that, and I can do that. Yep. Something's making me feel tired. Oh, something's making you feel tired? What do you think that is? Is it because you're tired? Take this. Yeah, he's tired. So we can get the rest of this though. I need to drop something. Whoa. Hey, we got it all. Got all the fishing. Take that, take that. Alright, we are almost like dead tired. So let's get some water. We're gonna sleep the night. All of it. Put a lot of thought in this. They did. They did. Absolutely, they did. It's a very well thought out game. It's 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 so damn good. So damn good. We're we're live for 15 days, by the way, on survival mode. It's nice. It is bothering me all these noises that I am hearing right now. A lot of squeaking. A lot of groaning, like metal. A lot of crazy sounds here. This gas station is about to fall apart. Chat, it's about to fall apart. There's so much dog food too. How are we doing? Food is almost way up. That too. 
of this one. 36 pork and beans. Oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? Did you see a shell casing? Bed. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Alright. Let's try it. So we got some daylight in here. Damn. It's so dark. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Recycled can, not casing. Can. It was. I should have cooked that. Damn, it's 65%. Uh, I don't really have. I don't really have the uh, storage for it. Drop one of these in here. What else? We're at 90 pounds, dude. I need to sort this out. Put that in here. There's a bunch of stuff we don't need. The water is going on the floor. Out here. That water, we're gonna go ahead and drop. No, let's go ahead and drink. As much as we can, I guess. And then drop. Everything except for half a gallon. Drop. And those turn into water bottles. That's fine. So now we should be at, yeah, 71. So we're fine there. I even have water right there. Damn, dude. There's so much stuff we need to, uh, like, pare down and sort out. Got wires, got condensed milk, got flares. Need all these flares for that. Not right now. Uh, we have a ton of cans. I need like two of these. I really only need one of these. Sewing kits. I don't even need that many. 68. Wood matches. We got 36 right there. Let's go ahead and transfer those over. And uh, casings. Casings are fine. So what? What do we really need? We need the revolver. Is what we need. And we didn't find it in any of those houses. There's one more place, chat. It's sun up. Should we go? Should we go to the other houses and look for the revolver? I feel like we should, but if we have to do that, we're going to go now. We can go now. I'm making an executive decision. We're going to go now. And we are going to the other houses. There are at least three of them over here. If we... Oh, okay. If we run into wolves... We are not going to shoot the wolves. We are going to take a hit... From the wolf. And we're gonna just stab it and let it bleed out. Is it food? Oh my god. Peanut butter is great. We need to go this way though. I hear something. There it is. And there's our first wolf. Who would have thought? Alright, wolf. Follow me over here. We're going. Going. I don't think it would attack me in the back, would it? Nah, I just keep looking over there for a second. It's gonna be fine. There's a couple of houses up this way. Dude, this is dicey. As long as it's one wolf, we'll be okay. If it's more than one, then we gotta start shooting. But it's only one right now. I hear you. Calm down. I should take I should take this one out. I don't have any, like, rocks or anything. Find a stone. I'll try and hit it with a rock. Don't oh, do it. Here it comes. Knife! Come on! Got him. Alright. Get wrecked, dude. 
Get wrecked. Loss infection risk. Antiseptic or that. Good. Loss is bandage. Okay, so. Medical. Oh my god. That. Use. Use. Oh, come on. Use. Use. All right, we're not messing around anymore. Dude, this, this game. So we'd have at least time to get our antiseptic. We can get to the house. Unless he's actually charging me. I don't think he is. Might have time. There's some deer over there, dude. Go chase the deer. They're easier targets, man. I got a freaking rifle. I don't want to use this rifle round on him. I'd much rather use it on a bear or something of value or a moose. You're getting awfully close, dude. Awfully close. Let's do it. You just had to do it, huh? Just had to. Look at your dumb face now. Huh? Look at your dumb, stupid wolf face in the snow. You could have prevented this. Dickus. Trying to F with me? <sighs> where's my, where's my cartridge? There it is. We might clean up that wolf later. I gotta get antiseptic on this wound. These are the other houses. These are the houses I was trying to go for, man. God. I just only used one bullet. Let's try this. Apparently the first treatment didn't even work. I didn't know you could fail a treatment. There we go. Killed the infection risk. Ah, oh, but, but, but he just wanted to be... He did not, Hades. He wanted to bite my, he wanted to bite my quad off. That's what he wanted to do. Ain't no friends. And that wolf gave me fleas too. Grungy. Ketchup chips. All right, well now we gotta find like tons of rifle ammo in here. Trail boots, I don't need those. Come on. We gotta find how oh, have oh, 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 I found two sets of wood matches and nothing else that I actually want here. Oh god, okay, cabinets. Cabinets at light speed. That'll it's not friend was it friend shaped? It's not friend shaped. Dude, you're thinking of uh You're thinking of um of those other animals, man. Wolves are not friend shaped, they're predator shaped. You make friends with snakes? Are, are snakes friend shaped? It's not friend shaped at all. Not even close. Not even close. We have like three houses to search over here, so let's try and go quick through these. You're thinking of capybaras. A capybara is friend shaped. A wolf, not so much. That is not a skill book. That is not a skill cabinet at all. Spray paint, dude. Get the spray paint out of here. Is that another? <gasps> this oh, how? How are we gonna wear two of these? Huh? Wow, we got we got two of them on though. Okay, that's our second one. Very 
got an extra pair of those. Yeah, here's here's the secret to this game. You don't actually have to take everything that you find. And if you don't take everything that you find, you might be better off. Probably here. Overall, keeping a mental inventory of how much stuff you actually have. Yeah, you should be okay. 0.58 gallons. We might be able to take a little bit. A Floki ball? What is dog check real quick? Dog check. What is he doing? He's not even in the room. Floki. Oh he is. Sorry, he's right. You can see his ear. His ear is on camera. He was laying right to my right. As soon as I turned right to look at the bed, I was like, Flo and he's right. Oh, what happened, buddy? What happened? You're not in your bed. What happened to your bed, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> he's right below the camera right now. He's, he's just over to my right. He's fine. So I should be able to take that. I'll be okay. And. Let's just the drawers. Painkillers up there. Wonder if this is any Energy good bar. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. No. That should be everything in here. Let's see what our vitals are looking like. Our vitals are fine. Vitals are... Very fine. Uh, we need ammo though. We need a uh, revolver over here though. Hades. We gotta find a revolver. Man, depending on the difficulty you play, determines how many houses are actually up over here. I thought it was three. One, two, three. Apparently, this one's burned down in this playthrough because we're playing on stalker difficulty. I guess if you were playing on uh, interloper difficulty, there'd be no houses over here. I'm gonna check these two. Not then. Uh, that's probably why it's taking us so long to find the freaking revolver, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Top. All the shelves. Wait. Got that. Toilet water. <gasps> Climbing socks. Yes, finally. Okay. And a bandage. All right. Great. Climbing socks make this house worth it. Worth coming over here. I could use this. But what we're gonna try and do. Let's find a revolver. I need those. So we're going to check everything in here real fast. All right. Freezer. Ah, I don't need that. Fridge. Water. Sure. Fine. Oven. And then all the cabinets. One. Two. Three. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oh, wait. We do need that. Yep. Got him. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank goodness. Nine, ten, and eleven. That herbal tea, man. That herbal tea can be great when we're going out for a mission. I don't know what missions we're going to be going on anytime soon, but it could still be good. Revolver? Revolver? No. Revolver? Crate? No. Crate? No. Revolver in the crate? Cloth? Okay. Book? No. Bed? Okay. Revolver? No. Damn, sure. This stuff will come in handy. You're finding that one spot on the map? That one spot on the map, huh? That one! I, kn I know that. It's called that one spot. It's on the map. Damn! Well... 
at least we have a little bit of time to get back to the gas station before we go to I don't know Where are we going next man Where are we going next we gotta find the revolver dude there's so many wolves so many wolves <sighs> and bears we could go hmm. I could go right now should we oh man should we should we or shouldn't we I don't know I, I don't think we should I think we should I think we should save that for later I was going to say we could we could just do it right now and go but I have a feeling we might we might not make it if we do that that's okay hi bunny let's go back to the gas station it's already one in the morning by the way bunker uh, I don't think there's a bunker on this portion of the map. There's a bunker on the next portion of the map. That was where I was going to go. And then there's another area even further out. But I would want to move the coal further in before I went to that side of the map too. Because that side of the map has a furnace, a smelter, where we can actually use that coal. Unlike over here. But no, good, great guess. Good guess. It's not a surprise to anybody who's probably watching right now because they already know the long dark and they know where I'm, what I was thinking of when I was getting outside of that house and thinking, oh, should I? We're already over here. But no, we'll go back to the gas station, reconsolidate some stuff, and we'll be okay. They're probably, they're probably angry as hell. At me sprinting too. A lot of times in this game, you do not want to sprint. You just you deal with the speed as it is. Sprinting lowers your stamina. It lowers, you know, whatever. Whatever. It also takes away your energy and it burns calories. This is a survival game after all. So, boom! Sprinting not always the best thing to do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try and just. Uh, take this guy out not with a match Dude, I can't do a torch either let's just try and take him out there we go sprained ankle really that's it what how Sprained ankle bandage and then painkillers. Okay. So bandage. On my foot. And painkillers. Sure. Okay, great. And that wolf will be uh will be dead up here as well. If we wanted to skin it for a hide or something like that, we could. I don't know how that was the fastest one I've ever seen. Just want to jump by before I had to head off to school. All right, Anakin, have a good day at school, man. Thanks for stopping in to say hi. Hope you have a good day, man. Warlorder says I'm horrible at long dark, so I can't judge somebody's playthrough. You get better. You get better at trying to think out loud when I play this, too, so... Maybe something that I say can, uh... Can add to your playthrough maybe my my process of talking out loud obnoxiously let you know the things that i know and they can transfer into your playthrough and make you a better long dark streamer because i have about 400 and 430 hours in this game something close to that so hopefully that will uh reflect on my gameplay too i don't know though Pork and beans. Uh, 
Dog food. All right, great. Let's get some dog food. <laughs> Got so many cans. Build sprain risk, yeah. Gamey wolf meat. No, wolf meat needs to go in. I don't know where it's going to go. It's going to go somewhere. Yeah, just don't die in your golden, right? I'm trying to jump in this game. How was I holding on to, like, wolf meat? Drop that. And also... Like that should be by the... Yeah, that. We need to store some other stuff here, too. There we go. Oh, that's gave me wolf meat. I don't think I pulled that out. Could cook that. I don't want to start a fire right now. Go by durability. Two twenty twos. That in there. That in there. That in there. Dude, we gotta fix up these ragged climbing socks. Those climbing socks are good, man. They're so good. So we're gonna do here. We're gonna take. Where's my uh, lantern, by the way? I have a lantern. There it is. 60%, 62% though, that one's more filled up. Could repair one of them, I have a simple tool. Simple tools are in here though. Give me best and cooked. 61%, I could take that. There's so much stuff, man. There's so, so much stuff. Cooked venison I could put outside in the snow and it'll last longer. It's like a refrigerator out here. This is probably not the best idea to put this disgusting wolf meat over here this wolf meat needs to go back in here because we're not eating that let's sort it and the man, I try and scroll down on the left doesn't even work there it is all right give me wolf meat that's going in here going in here okay that that good Oh, good, good. And, oh, I didn't even notice that R freaking rifle cartridge right there. Let's reload that. We have six shots in our rifle, man. We have to find, we have to find this revolver, dude. How many revolver rounds do I have? 56. 56 shots with the revolver and only six. I have 50 more shots with the revolver than I do with this rifle. It's not fair. It's not fair. I gotta, I gotta find the revolver, man. Rifle shell casing. We'll take that too. If I can, if I can somehow craft, I don't know where you even do that. I've never done that before in this game. Craft some rifle shells into rifle bullets. That would be great. I just have no idea where to do that. So, I don't know. All right, we are going to go ahead and try and sleep here. And that should save the game. That is going to be great. So we are right around the four hour mark, chat. That's another solid four hours of the long and dark. Hopefully you had a good time. I appreciate you hanging out. We can go ahead and uh, quit here. It should, it should save every time you sleep, right? So that should be fine. If it doesn't, we're in for a world of hurt. But hopefully it does. I think it does. Thank you again so much for hanging out for another YouTube stream. We stream mainly over on uh, Twitch TV. Let me put the dog cam up over here instead. I don't know why my overlays aren't activating. Maybe they will in the, in the VOD. But thank you so much for hanging out. We got a lot of stuff done. We got over to the uh, the highway. And I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I have no idea. But if you uh, if you enjoyed the content, this was a good four hour. Uh, good four hour swath of content. Um, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe or that follow or whatever it is. You don't have to, but if you liked it, it would certainly help the channel out. Hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. Guys, gals, everybody else, whoever it is. I say guys, it's just a overall um, umbrella term. So 
Have a good rest of your night, and hopefully I will see you again for the next episode when we continue the survival mission. Chat, you can always help me out when you're in the live streams and let me know which way you want me to go or decisions that you want me to make. That's the bonus of seeing us live. But have a good rest of your night, and uh, thank you for being here. Catch you on the next one. Goodbye.